Hello everyone, this is a supercut of me playing The Outer Wilds. This is the entire game edited down to, was it, six hours or something like that? That's, a, that's the lowest I could get it down without chopping out a lot of context. I said I was going to play it in the Guess the Game comments, and, uh, and I did, and I chopped it all together. I enjoyed my time playing this game very much. Uh, definitely had a lot of frustrations, though, as you will come to see. The beginning starts a little slow, first few parts, first couple of hours is, is a little bit slower than the next four hours because I'm setting up a lot of context, there's a lot of me exploring areas for the first time, first time seeing certain bits of information, uh, so all that kind of stuff. So as, as you watch more, it'll it'll start to speed up. Um, am I ever going to do a supercut again? I would say yes, but I'm going to be pretty selective about what I choose to do a supercut of. I think Elden Ring DLC is probably going to be my next supercut. Um, but yeah, overall, don't expect uh, too many uh, supercuts from me. It's not going to be. This is not going to be an all the time thing. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So enjoy me playing the Outer Wilds in its entirety. Okay. Sub B. There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. It's launch day. Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program. Suddenly here you are, leaving your first solo voyage. Uh, all fueled up, ready to go. I mean, I didn't even, like, explore anything. Oh, there's the guy from the effing screenshot. All right, F it, let's just go. If you wreck the ship, I'm not building unit. That's fair. Launch codes from the Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you set your wires or whatever. Okay. All that kind of stuff. Hold and release for jump. In interesting. Pl please. I'm kind of zooming. Okay. Micah. Launch tower. Observatory. The music does feel a bit loud, so let me know. What's up, Marl? Think about it, and the, the platform that ships on shine is kind of built a new, less flammable one. It's flammable. It's held up, probably. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's it's pretty loud. It's pretty loud. Let me let me just turn it down a smidge, bro. I feel like I can't even hear myself over the music. <laughs> Danger inside this fence, a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that's invisible. You can detect ghost matter with a camera. Even the ghost matter is painful and will kill you. Don't complain if you die. All right, use camera. Zero G cave. I might see you before the big launch. Uh. I'm a little nervous. You should be nervous. You're going into space. It's oh, gotten better. The proven to your old flight coach is a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in the zero G cave in need of repairs. If you want some last minute zero G practice, head down the lift and into the cave or don't, as long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Um, okay, that seems like a good idea. Zero G cave. Yep, you weren't kidding. What's up, dude? Getting some zero G. Give me the dirt. Tech Tide saw something crash outside the village crater earlier. That's new and different. Oh, all right. They were on Firewatch. They said the name of the game. That's a different game. Uh, with the old scout launcher and saw smokes, they went to check it out. Okay. Soft landing. Okay. That was. This feels like we're going. Oh, okay. Can match velocity. Zero out of three repaired. I mean, this looks like it. Do I have to get close? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. How do I fix you? Ah, okay. No, hold on. Match, match velocity. Match, match, match velocity. Just 
Can I get a little bit, a little bit closer? Okay. Okay. It's so disorienting. <laughs> Okay. Ah, uh, great. It's so dark that my monitor does this thing where if it gets too dark, my monitor itself will go even darker and dim. So now I really can't see. Am I? Dude, I don't even know my orientation. Oh my God, okay. Good practice, good practice. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking at chat too much, you know. So every once in a while, you just get somebody who loves to be just hilarious. It'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but remember your training, trying not to hit anything big. So you're itching to get off this rock, so get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here. Don't get yourself killed. <laughs> okay, thanks. Um, okay, this looks like the launch pad. So that looks like the looks like the observatory. So rip off No Man's Sky got it. Uh, yeah, Alex, I'll have 1,000 for best ways to piss off a Twitch chat. Uh, it was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species that dwell in our solar system thousands of years ago. Uh, most detailed look and decorative jewelry. Uh, artifacts and structures have been found on the same planet. We don't know where they came from. Okay. Well, what does this? Strange rock moving around the grotto uh, appears to react to conscious observation. There must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it's observed. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. A little, uh, little anti-grav there. Gravity distortion. Okay. This FOV is crazy. I have it dialed up, like, maximum. Is that bad? Oh, okay. Giants. 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 Can you give me? Ah, uh, yes. You give me the codes. I just finished pre-flight pre -flight observations in local conditions that are good. Trying to get our newest astronaut off the ground. You'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Nomai Translator tool. I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. Better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. What's my plan? I'm going to start with something small. More sensible than most of the other astronauts. You think you'll go to the Atoll Rock then? Our moon will be a safe place to travel to and get your bearings in space. You know the ancient Nomai runes on the moon are, or why they were built. You can put your new translator to work at its paces. Um, I'm ready to die in space. No, I'm ready to get off the rock. I do need the launch codes. Okay, launch codes. Looks like we got them. Oh. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Oh, God. everything I just did. Thank you, Olmec, for just sucking my effing memories out of my brain. Whoa. What do you mean? It's open its eyes. Yeah. It was doing what? So images from your own memories and glowing lights around like a hallucination. You sure okay? No, it's weird. It's definitely weird. You're saying it happened there, I guess it did, but why? Tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, nothing like that ever happened to them. I don't think you're gonna get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabro said that they were going back to Giant Steep. Don't know what island they're on though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro, so you'd better be better off searching for our info on your own. I'm really jealous you're going into space. Um Okay, how do I get up to my ship? Oh, never mind. There's like an elevator. Just got sucked into my ship. Okay. We have a little anti grav uh, field here. New ship log. Okay. Rumor mode? Okay. 
Brittle Hollow, Dark Bramble, the Interloper, Ember Twin, Ash Twin, the Atoll Rock. Oh yeah, that's where we want to go. Still Station on Atoll Rock, Lunar Ruins. Okay, sounds like we just gotta go there. Suit up. That was very appropriate timing. Okay, that looks like the sun. Brittle Hollow. No, we want to go to. We want to go to. Atoll Rock. Nope. Engage autopilot. Okay. You don't, have, you don't have to manually fly there yourself. Yeah, catch me crashing into a moon. Equip scout launcher. I don't think I can do that yet. Landing mode. Good landing. Okay. Pretty smooth landing. Open the hatch. This is like pretty small. Oh, hello. Can I get down there? I can't. Okay. Do I have like a health bar? Like if I if I land a little too hard, do I just break my effing legs? I do. Okay. Okay, we got some people's stuff here. Oh, refuel jetpack. Play recording. Property of Chert. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. Atoll Rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. More fragments on the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in the solar system. Okay. Pickaxe. Okay. So we're just kind of exploring right now. Signal scope. Not sure what the signal scope does. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna guess this is talking about the sun. Signal scope log. Still not picking up Rybeck's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better. Okay, that's that's what I was hearing. Just gonna let sure play for a while. Someone should tell them. Flurry's not so perspective. Banjo coming in loud and clear today. I thought I heard something strange. I don't know, it was probably nothing. Something strange coming from Timber Hearth. So it's like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in the space, in space ages ago. It can't be them. It's still here. Okay. Ship log updated. What the? Brother man got a house. What's up, Esker? Grand Control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. It's been a long time since I've seen anybody. What is this place? You're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot. Like, more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Just me uh, raising saplings from timber and keeping an eye on things. Okay. Some more traffic when our ships were less sophisticated, and nowadays it's mostly easy to keep a set eye on things, okay. Okay, I mean, he's, uh... Seems like he's chilling. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Scout launcher. I don't know why... I, I don't, my, my RB is not working. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh. Rotate camera. He's just taking pictures. Oh, that's me. Oh. This 
looks like something. That's good. Translate. RB. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and it can hear and follow signals from the sun, giant's deep, and brittle hollow. Beam translator. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. The device indicators rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. Most likely calibrated locator incorrectly. I'll try it again. It is correct. But the locator cannot detect the eye's signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Don't lose hope. Uh, we'll build it. Okay. Curious result. It's possible the eye is so complex. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Eye signal locator. All signals from the sun. Okay. Pick up scroll. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be lar larger than the eye signal locator is. Originally stranded on Ember Twin, built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend on that planet. Southern Glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. We can construct a new building uh, to house this proposed locator. Let's build there. I'll be in, con in construction. Brittle Hollow's South Pole. this what is this little ball okay so all this stuff can like make like a picture or something all the holes maybe come on line up yeah no stop okay Bro, chill. Okay. Oh, I can get the ball back. Oh, it's okay. It's moving again. Okay. Let's take you out. And then we have. Okay. And then they all line up. Okay, I mean, it's, it looks like it's telling me to go there. So just what is that? Put the suit back. Okay. So let's view our map. Zoom, zoom in. This is the most I can zoom in. Okay, that was like, that looks like the sun. It do be the sun. Do I even need to like be in the ship for this? Can I just like, can I just like launch myself over to the, whatever that was? Might be a little far. I don't know where, I don't even know where the thing went. Okay, that looks pretty far. I'm gonna get back in. Oh no, it's that. Okay, um, lift off. Okay, lock on, nope. Brittle hollow. All right. I got no idea, bro. I can see why it's called Brittle Hollow. Easy does it. Easy. 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 Easy does it. Easy. 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 That's a black hole. Okay. That was a little tough. We're good. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Returns. Is there a way to like refuel in the ship? There is. Okay. I'll figure that out. There's a gravity here. Oh my god. Okay. I think that used a lot of juice. 
Oh, that's a different meter. Okay. Keep the flashlight on. I got my thing on me. I mean, this looks like a whole effing deal. Oh God, I'm sorry. Do you reconstruct? Okay. The Southern Observatory. Okay, we can kind of get sucked up in the space there. Okay, that was neat, but you think the jetpack even like it's 1.0 gravity? I get it, but also like, I mean, I guess I don't know. The center is like a black hole, so it's trying to bring you back to the middle. I don't know. Ah. Seems bad. Oh God. Okay, well, I just got sucked into a black hole. Um, okay, well, um, just kind of floating right now. Easy does it. Velocity match, no. Okay, okay, this looks like what just exploded. <laughs> okay, well, um, I want to, like, run out of fuel. Dude! Yeah, 50% fuel remaining. I know. Okay, I just slide right off. Oh, dude, I don't I don't effing know, bro. Giant Steve. I'm 21 kilometers away. Meters. I'm just going to try to go over there. That's some planet. Wait, should I go towards that thing? No, I'm just getting sucked away. There's no way I get back to my ship. Yeah, I'm, I'm pushing past. Okay, I'm just out here. Um, I do just kind of be out here. Okay, the sun has transformed into a white dwarf. Okay, it is potentially supernova I'm dead. <laughs> Flashbang out. All right, and that's the whole game. Cut to credits. Okay. What's the name of that movie? Vantage Point. Did anyone see Vantage Point in theaters? Also Groundhog Day. I know Groundhog Day, but this also remind. I was like, everybody knows Groundhog Day. Did anyone see Vantage Point in theaters and have an audience like mine where after like the sixth or seventh time they cut back to a different POV, everyone collectively groaned in the theater? Because that was my experience. I don't know why I thought of Vantage Point. I just remember, like, by the seventh one, everyone's like, Bro! Jesus Christ! Okay, so that that do be intentional. That do be a bit of a pre-planned death. Is it super important that I, like, talk to a bunch of the NPCs around? Or is it that they're just kind of, like, flavor text? Tutorial buddies. Okay. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go talk to Brother Man again and see if anything happens. The statue opened its eyes, but you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? <sighs> Me too. I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with this statue. Was there something that you needed? Where are the other travelers? Church is on the Hourglass Twins, right back on Brilla Hollow, and on Giant's Deep. And then there's Feldspar, we don't know where they are. If they're even still alive, they've been lost for a very long time. Anything else that I need? No, I'm good. Okay, he doesn't seem to... They don't seem to care that much. Okay, I guess we'll just go to my ship then. So we just went to that moon. I want to go to the thing that the thing was actually targeting. Oh wait, no, we were just here. We were just here. Oh, we were just here. Should I come back? Do I come back? Stop it. Stop. Just land. No. 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 
Okay. Oh, there might be more stuff here. What's that? Easy. Okay. And what is this? Is everyone unharmed? No one's badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're very fortunate. So, uh, we heard from two or three. I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two pods. They should be structurally intact. I'll keep calling for them. The moon is approaching again. The volcanic moon is here. Beware of falling ash and debris. It's past. Uh, so I'm gonna walk on its surface. To find shelter and quickly, the volcanic moon won't be gone for long. Some promising sites on the server need to construct a way down. So we build platforms. Okay. Damn, this thing, this thing like I think crash landed. Okay. Stress beacon. Okay. Signal scope. What the F, bro? Easy does it. Okay. Okay, they bust it out. Er Collision imminent, preparing for impact. Okay. I mean, it looks like they got just effing sucked into the black hole. Ooh. Okay. Don't slip. Yep, got it, thank you. <laughs> there do be a black hole down there. Okay, can I just walk? And we just gotta be pretty careful. I wanna get down there, we're gonna jump. Okay, that one hurt. Flashlight, can't see. Be sure not to wander far from here, it's on someone, uh... So unstable, it's safer than we've found so far. Terminal settlement is finished. We're uh, cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Okay. Ship log updated. All right. There's a thing down here. So now it's too dear to lose. Here's everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. Older than the universe itself, this was the most significant detail. No, no, my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Must find this eye of the universe. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. Someone blowing on a jug or something? Okay, we just have the two. Ooh, okay. Easy does it. My brother doesn't want to skip pod one. Could be two and three. Was he able to get on one at all? Sacrifice too much arriving here. I cannot, will not allow our clan's greatest loss to be in vain. Pain of your absence, sharp and hot man. Oh, sad. I don't actually experience emotions. I just say what they're supposed to be. Hmm, yes. Sadness. Right now. Emotion. Wow, we're going in hot. Okay. I mean, I don't know how the hell I'm getting out of here. Oh my god, okay. Okay, we were just here. Okay. I think I want to try and get out of here, but I don't know if there's a way out of here. What you got? 
Given concerns about Solomon's stability, where should we find, uh, where can we, should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? We should migrate to the northern glacier. What if we use gravity crystals to create a stable path? A building beneath the crust again would shelter us from volcanic moon eruptions. This needs to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. Fair. I don't think anyone's coming to save us. We're here because the eye signal called us and we followed it. If we're to find it, we need to merely not we need to not merely survive but thrive. If moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, that's okay, so we gotta go to the, the northern glacier. Okay. Well that's just a chunk of the planet leaving, so okay, cool. Um, no shot I make it over there, right? Nope. Okay, well, goodbye world. Well. <laughs> is there a... Is there a way to... Accelerate the dying process. Well, I mean, we were we were cooking something with the uh, that like the the anti grav platform thingy. Observatory, Escape Pod 1, Old Settlement, Northern Settlement, hmm, okay, Southern Observatory, Brittle Hollow South Pole, Brittle Hollow South Pole, okay, that's where I want to go, I just don't know how to get there. Okay, I want to I want to go to the to the South Pole here. Or whatever they they I think I'm going to crash into this planet. Okay, I think I see where I need to go. F, Fers, F. It's so disorienting, bro. Oh, dude, I'm I'm like on the opposite damn side of the damn planet. Okay, well, see, now I gotta go all the way around. Okay. Is, is there like a? Okay, yeah. I wanna like I wanna put like a. Can I put like a marker on this? I mean, it still looks like I'm going... No, I gotta make a left. Hmm. Thing just kind of turns. This looks like the, uh, the symbol that was on one of the doors. The Hanging City. <clears throat> 50 meters below. Okay. To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station. The other side of Brittle Hall is Black Hole. Our design where we successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but I... As long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I've seen these rings. If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully look at the problem. Don't tell Kasava. <laughs> okay. 
And this looks like a scroll from, from last time. Hmm. I'm guessing a skeleton does not bode well for this race. We can come up from it, but we can't go down. Okay, that's escape pod one. Wait. Oh, that must be the next escape pod. Oh god, three minutes of oxygen. Okay. Um, well, unfortunately there were no trees there. So we gotta get back to the... I was, okay, I was pretty close. I just went the absolute wrong way. Okay, oxygen up. How do I refuel my thing? Ah, yeah, okay. Okay. Whitehall Station. Northern Glacier. And we were just at the Southern. No, we didn't go to the Southern Observatory. I thought that was the Southern Observatory. Maybe I went to the Northern Glacier? Whitehall Station. On the other side. Okay, so South Side. Okay, so let's take off and go over there. So trying to navigate this effing planet is a nightmare. Okay, so this was the southern. Nope. Nope, take off. Got it. <laughs> Nothing's wrong. <laughs> We're good, baby. Okay, so South Pole, or yes, South is this way. I really, I really parked that far. Ooh, a little much, a little much, a little bit, a little bit much. Okay, okay. Do not want to get in the black hole again. Okay, okay. I think I'm getting in from this side, unless there's a door in the back here, which there's not. Aha, there we go. It's a different ship. It looks like my ship. Hmm. Hmm. Most canious. Is that recording? I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. In that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would have barely laughed at me. That's the good news. The bad news, uh, I haven't found a great way inside the structure. The door is broken. And I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. Probably. I can't even get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to find a way down. <sighs> the equator. Do we go for it? I don't even know if I have enough juice for this. All right, people saying that I should go for it leads me to believe that I should not go for it. You know what, F it, we ball. You're right. Skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
the inside was broken. The inside head north to the ruins on the equator in search of a way beneath the surface. Um, I mean, we're we're really close to the equator. Like one one thing away. It's got it's, it's, they got to be talking about that. Okay, so we're on the equator. There's just like no easy way down though is the problem. It's gonna be so annoying if I die. Okay. So yeah, I was I've been here, or at least something that looked a lot like it. Yeah, I've been here. Unless this is new. Is this new? Or the vessel? Other than the universe. Is okay, yeah, so I've been here. Okay, so I do need to figure out how to how to navigate this upside down stuff. Yeah, we gotta do this. And hopefully not get sucked into the black hole this time. Unless there's like other paths. I'm not really seeing any other paths. There's one that goes up that way. Dude, how are you supposed to get across that? Do you just have to hit the skirt? You just skirt? There's no way. I, there's no way. I, I don't think you make this. I think I'm just gonna get sucked. Don't smile at me. Ah, I almost. Oh, there's like some other stuff here. Ship log updated. Take me around. Take me around town. He's insane. In the tractor beam? He's literally insane, bro. It's Ryback! Oh! I know I know stuff about like gravity and orbits and stuff. Oh you launched, that's great. Good job. You? That probably means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. What are you doing here? I'm here to hang see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in the solar system. Yeah, how do you? Okay. You probably heard the other say it, right? I'm afraid of space. I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you even know how I got? How I even got this far? I fell. I tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed where. Somewhere my little scout says it's halfway stable instead of being stuck to in a black hole. I'm engaging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout. And it seems to be, this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. So I'm just going to stay here a while until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me. I learned something. Where should I explore? What are you doing? Oh, cool. I found my, the Nomai escape pod. I saw the old settlement. I saw the hanging city. I found like a lot of cool stuff. So the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. And they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? Where did the escape pod come from? That's an amazing discovery. Okay, well, um, see you later. Now, here's the thing. How did I actually get... <laughs> how would I actually normally get here? But also, it doesn't matter. What is this? The Tower of Quantum Knowledge, West 190 meters. Okay, this looks like some sort of tractor beam situation. This is gravity cannon. This is that's deeper than because I made it this far. It's the as a part to focus on. Sure, something looks like the hanging city is north of here, and the east is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. Detecting my own oxygen supply from somewhere, which is good. Okay, as soon as I stop try heaving. Okay. Okay. Unidentified signal nearby. Uh, 
Um, my ship's pretty far away. Okay, well, I know I'm, I'm just gonna go back down to identify it. Um, so, yeah, here's the thing, is that my ship, my ship do be kinda gone. Ooh, that one hurt. I just wanna detect you. Be detected, okay. Here's the thing. Now I don't know how to get back up. <laughs> you know what, we go in, the okay, no, we don't go in that. I mean, it, it doesn't really take us anywhere, but let's put that away. Please. Oh, please. Okay. What is this? This is the Hanging City. Wait, north? 250 meters. Okay, okay, we're kind of cooking. What does this? Ah, oh, it's a piece of the Triforce. Oh God. School district, Meltwater district, I Shrine district, Black Hole Forge district. Mm, signal scope. Yeah, that's one. The other one's like, I like how I just snapped to it. Effing forgot to turn off the walls. Um, Black Hole Forge controls. Hmm. I like moving the, the balls. came from there. The Ash Twin Project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? I don't know. You tell me. Okay. Aha! Give me that scroll. Shrunk. Solution two, we could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Finding the vessel's warp core and its casing means that losing valuable knowledge. Very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. This is the safest pass for our clan. This is the safest pass the best one. Our goal is worth the risk. Is it though? We've tried so long. What was that? Did I get sucked? Am I sucked in the black hole? What happened? Dude, I was fragging, man. Dude, I was outering the shit out of those wilds, bro. How the hell am I gonna get back there, dude? How am I gonna get back there? All right, what do we find? Hanging City, this camp, Black Hole Forge. Black Hole Forge, won't you come and make some stuff in the forge? Um, harmonica sing, uh, signal. Lunar Lookout is just uh, where that dude was, right? Yeah. More explore here, okay. Oh, 
Northern Glacier. More to explore here. White Hole Station. Black Hole Station. The Hanging City. Spending in the, I found a switch in the Meltwater District that raises and lowers the Black Hole Forge. Debate on how to obtain powerful, highly advanced warp work required for the Ash Twin Project. There's more to explore here. All three escape pods were launched from something called the Vessel, which is badly damaged. Still more to explore here. Of the Universe, Hanging City, Black Hole Forge, on a switch. It's the highest district in the Hanging City. No my name Poke plan to create a new advanced war core. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Trees. Alright. Exit ship to repair landing gear damaged. Nope, we're still going. Okay. Um I saw a, like a thing that I wanted to go towards. I just don't remember where it is now. So that's cool. I feel very lost. Love me some trees. Okay, we have a little encampment here. Ghost matter detected nearby. Look, I didn't see the ghost matter until I was jumping into it, okay? I also still don't really know what ghost matter does. Okay, well, here's what I know it does. Is apparently, it kills me. I know it does that. Other than that, I have no idea. Okay, well, this ended up being a whole lot of nothing. Ow. Okay, we've been here before. I ran a boost. We're fine. Maybe we haven't been here. Have we been here? Yeah, we have. No, we haven't. Southern Observatory. No, we have. Have we? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. We did this, and then, like, we died, like, right before I could actually do anything with this. Okay, it looks like we could get out of the tractor beam. Looks like we're gonna have to get out of the tractor beam. Doesn't feel like I'm gonna get sucked into the other beam. I gotta do like a jump. There we go. Okay. We do be traveling pretty far, but we don't really appear to be getting it. Okay, there's some crystals on the walls there, but there's only like two. But we don't have many other options. down. I don't know what's happening. I didn't land. Um. Nope. I'm going to slide off. Nope. Ah, I fell in that time. F, bro. Tell me that killed me. Okay. No, not my first time in the black hole. See, that that run felt ass because I don't feel like I, I actually learned anything. Alright, I think we're gonna just go somewhere else. Somewhere else. Alright, let's go to Giants Deep. Giants, Giants, Giants. Havel's Ring, Ring of Favor and Protection. This looks like a, like Jupiter. 
Is there even anything to land on? Like in it. Okay. So there's nothing to land on. <laughs> it is a gas giant. Um is that like sky? I feel like I'm seeing like some thunderstorms. You know what, dude, we're after we're going in. If I die, I die. Although there's something rotating around it. Ha. This is water. Back it up. Back it up. Where do I even land on this bitch? Yaw. Yaw. Pitch. How do I land on that? God effing damn. Okay, okay, okay. Just had to crash that one. Whew. How do I fix it? There we go. Let's patch that sucker up. All right, we're good. That was gonna be a son of a bitch to land proper. I'm floating, I'm floating off, I'm floating. What's happening? It's, it's a cap. Wow, where is it? It is zero, zero grav. What? Good to see you made it here one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? Don't forget anything, but lately I keep like dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. Yep, I've also been dying. Time has been used, uh, behaving unusually lately. Yeah, a time loop makes sense, cool. You're taking this pretty well. Personally, I like new experiences and I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. Looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. Tried radioing Hornfells and asked if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. <laughs> If I don't tell Hornfells about the time loop, they never remember about the next one. They don't realize anything's different. And here's another word, weird one for you. Every time I die, all my memories from that loop replay back to me. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's all related to this big stone Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. I was looking at it, and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like it seen them through my own eyes, just like what happens each time I die. Yep. The Nomai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of this time loop. So, no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. That's going to be my leading theory then. But if you find out anything new, let me know. That's what's new with me. Um, what's up with this planet? Uh, it's massive and mostly water, no surprises. There's a strong current away beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Tried everything I could to get past that current, and neither idea worked. As for land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one. There's also the one, the Nomai statue that I saw on the beach. Uh, the cyclones, they toss up everything in their path, islands included. If you get picked up, try to land in water, less likely to kill you. I found something. Actually, never mind. Oh, that's. Okay, this is danger crystals. Okay. I still don't know what to do about the ghost matter. OK. 
Okay. Gladly take some of that. Okay. There's nowhere else to go. Yeah, I'm barely, uh... Barely able to go anywhere. A lot of grav. A lot of gravity. My ship's down there. I'm still really not sure the point of this scout launcher. I still don't really know what this does. Does that just lead the other... side of this? I think that'll look like... That's what it does. I don't know what the hell is in this cave. I, um... I'm not sure... What this place is valuable for. Apparently there's other islands. But I mean, you can't really see anything. So that doesn't help. I don't want landing mode. I want I want take off mode. There we go. It's, dude, it's, it's, it's hard to pilot. There's like a house over there. Oh, it's somebody else's ship. Oh, good God, bro. I'm like physically moving my body to try to help me. Oh God. Eh, minute, beep. I wedged it. Here, yes. Right, right here. Right here, get it? Oh my God. Nailed it. <laughs> okay. So that way, no good. Here. This is okay. Okay, I think we're safe. I'm just keep. No, right. I have to leave. What is this jellyfish looking ass? I mean, there's no way I can like scale any of this, right? Oh god. Oh god. Oh oh jeez. Oh boy. I don't know what's happening. Ah okay. Alright, come on down now. Okay. And yep. Okay. That one hurt. That hurt pretty bad. Dude, the gravity is insane. I can't even, I can't even jump. Okay. Well, I don't know how to get to my, <laughs> I don't even know. I like this, I just, this is, yeah, the gravity is just too much. I can't like move anywhere.
Okay, well, I'm just I'm just kind of stuck here now. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a, dude, I've been playing this for two hours. I'm exhausted. Parts of my brain that haven't been used in decades are are getting clicked on. Neurons that haven't been activated in years. Fighting for their life. Uh, there's no way for me to get back to my ship. <laughs> Can I just, like, dunk myself in the water? Wish another one of these effing tornadoes would come by and effing scoop us up. Maybe this one? Please? Down, 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 too down, too much down. Oh my God, get me out. Get me out of here, bro, please. Watch after all this, my ship just goes straight into the effing water. <laughs> I definitely knew it, bro. Get me out of here. Woo! All right, what do we got here? Is that just nothing? Giant steep. Did I just go through nothing? Dark bramble. Get me out of here. I even. What do you even do? Like, what do you even do with this place? Is there even a spot to land? Stabilize. Nope, not even close. Oh, are we dying? Okay, so this just happens no matter what. So we only have we only have so much time to to do stuff before we get exploded. Okay. I thought there was something that I was doing that might have triggered it, but I'm guessing it's just you have a certain amount of time and that's it. We're going to see a WoW classic Cataclysm playthrough tomorrow on launch. No, you're not. No, you are not. Dark Bramble literally didn't even look like there was a place to land. This just felt like nothing. Okay, so that is... What is this? My LS isn't working. Ember Twin. Okay, those are like the... Okay, the inner planets. Hollow's Lantern. Let's go there. Although it literally just looks like a giant ball of liquid hot magma. So I don't even know if I can land on this. It literally just looks like a volcano planet. It is literally just a planet of volcanoes. I feel I still feel like there's there's stuff to do on on Brittle Hollow. Like I'm not even I don't feel like I'm even close to done with this place. Although maybe I could try another distress beacon location. Okay, that's pod one. What's there? It's kind of close to the sun. One of the hourglass twins. No, is that? That's the, that's giants, whatever. That's the island place. Okay. Here we effed up. I'm trying to figure out how to walk over there okay there we go oh 
Okay, a little hop, skip, and a jump over there. Okay, I had to change course in the middle of that. We're fine. What is this? What is this getting us? What is this getting us? Okay, there's a suck beam up there. It's kind of our only way towards anything, so. Okay, now we cooking. Now we kind of cooking. Here we go, something new. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit where one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Crafting a model to determine what has happened. It's clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones typically uses to send components into orbit. Rare type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. Really intrigued. Uh, was it really necessary to build a model? Tell me that. Useful to monitor giant's deep. I also want to make a model. Okay. Okay, so counterclockwise is the rare one. Oh, is this the door that's not working? Haha, -ha, it is. So that was the information they were trying to tell me. Pick up Giant's Deep Projection Stone. We're lifting orbital probe cannon's components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sunk beneath. Oh, okay, so this is just the 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 prequel here. Projection tool kind of do. There are two types of trail. If you don't mind. Trek beneath the surface of the South Pole. There are two trailheads, one of Brittle's hollow gravity cannon and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. That was impossible, but okay. Okay, so that was just explaining what's up. Can I take this out and put it in here? What the F? Hmm. So as soon as I leave this thing, I'm 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 floasted. Can I put this somewhere else? That tells us that. Just don't know if there's something something I can do here. Oh, this is okay. We're on giants. Okay, this is like a projection into the giant's, giant's uh, planet thing. Statue Island, Ocean Depths, Tornado Simulation. Okay, we're unlocking more. South Pole, there's a, there's, okay, so we got that, but there's still, this is still a question mark? in the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. Harmonic music coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. Isn't that like that? that that's our home planet, right? Yeah. But there's other spots on Timber Hearth that we could land that I haven't really been landing on. Giants deep. I mean, we could try to find like a tornado that's that's uh, spinning counterclockwise. I see it. I just don't know how to pilot myself in that direction. Okay. Okay. This seems like a bad thing to land on. I was correct. This is some jellyfish. Bro, I'm not I'm not even hitting buttons. I'm just spitting. 
Okay, well, that doesn't really help us a whole lot. Where's the other islands? There's no other islands? There you go. There's one. There's one. Hang in there. Hang in there. Statue workshop. Can't get in. Climbing the mountain. Oh, this okay. This looks familiar with the with that thing suck beam building. Okay. We're gonna test the memory statues tonight. It's, could be dangerous. We can't come. We didn't. We didn't use the door and snuck the other way. Does anyone want to? I really want to see the test. But that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe they'll let us see a later test. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Tornado. A lot of stuff down there. Launch scout. Okay, well. Hold, please. I don't know why that is relevant. Launch scout. Okay, I've taken a snapshot. Okay, you're telling me to launch the scout. So that must be important. But why is it important? I'm seeing like some tornado things. I don't think they're like teleporters. Dude, am I out of time really? Giant Steve's friend, I'm starting to meet the statues. I'm um, liking my workshop below the island. That's it. All right, time to pause. I can't believe that's been another hour already. <laughs> It's a dark bramble seed. You think so? It's nothing I've ever seen in the timber hearth before, so you're probably onto something there. Whatever it is, it put its roots down in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing hatchling, and that's a fact. I think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. Best to get rid of this mess sooner rather than later. No one can remove an unwanted plant faster than them. Take a look at what's inside first, though. Don't want to get anyone to hacking a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside. Help me... Haul the old scout launcher over here. Opening is too small for someone to fit inside. I'm not going to blindly stick my hands in anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. Okay. Hmm. I threw a little scout into the seed. It's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. We have a seed that has the, the decency to stay the same size all the way through. <laughs> Error duplicate signal. I feel like that's a clue. Oh, it landed. It got stuck. Huh. Also, what's up, Kiernan? Been a minute. Unknown. Okay, you're pretty known. Can I jump in? Suit puncture detected. I cannot jump in. Okay, let's see if there's anything else here. Nope, nope, no, I wanna go back. No, I wanna go back. No, I wanna go back. Ah! 
All right, fine. <laughs> ah, good enough. I don't know if I de unidentified signal nearby. Closed due to fire damage. The old radio tower were imp important landmark is closed. Thanks. Okay. I'm going to repair the radio tower in the future. All construction efforts are currently focused on the planned museum expansion of the observatory. Oh, it's for DLC. I okay, fine. Thank you. Uh, that was one of very few pieces of uh, information I don't mind getting. <laughs> Easy does it. Easy does it now. Hmm. Unidentified signal? Nope, didn't want to do that. You come back now. Three hundred meters. Out. Oh, it's another one of these things. Grove shard. Quantum fluctuations. Okay. That's good. Wait. Is this another one? No, it's the same one. It do be teleporting around. Oh, you can actually go down here. Oh my god, I wasn't ready for this. F it, dude. We ball. Mining site 2A wouldn't be safe for the native life dwelling in some of these cave pools, so unfortunately we have to mine some other sites. On one hand, new life. This species is semi-aquatic, very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust. Thrive in the long run. Be cautious near the pools if you visit 2A to meet them. Subsur uh, subterranean species that my mentor once told me about. I imagine she would enjoy these life forms greatly. Just watching them once during a rest and the hours escape me. Oh god. Uh, oh, I wasn't finished with that. No, dude. Okay, I think this is where we were at the start. Yeah, I want to go get this last message thing and then we can leave. Hmm. Ow. Mining site to B. Still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. And it's just for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. Really, via client's decision to use timbered hearths or for only constructing a shell. If life on this planet were to evolve, I'm confident we wouldn't have destroyed their ability to create. If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they've planned accordingly. You telling me this this ancient civilization had puns? I'm out, bro. Uh, most unbelievable thing. Least realistic video game experience. Uh, damn it. 
pick up this stone. By itself lit. Third one lit. Second one lit. Right, you got me beat on that one. You got me beat on that one. I'm not sure what's going on there. My gratitude for the latest shipment. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check? If my work is complete, I'd be delighted to help. Grateful if you would. More eyes the better. Smallest flower opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin project could lead to disaster. Once we've finished the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Rami and I will be on the final security check. Okay. This thing shoots us back up. We kind of want to go down. I mean, what just what happens if I go? Oh, it's... Oh, okay. It leads from the bottom. Okay. No! Oh, my God. It's water. It's just gonna send me into the regular beam. I can't see weenus. Enjoying the game so far? I am not sure yet. I think it's like things are not clicking for me yet, so I'm not having those aha moments. All right, we're almost out of fuel. This is all, really? Even going around that was effing water, bro. Come on, man. There's a clear line. Ugh. Well, we did a decent amount of uh, uncovering stuff, I feel like. Dark bramble seed leads to inside the seed. Quantum grove is off of... I think nowhere, no my minds. Ash Twin Project. Mine ore from this site to create a protective shell. Do 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 do. Yep. Statue workshop. You can see a large cave from one of the ruins on top of the island. The bottom of the cave is filled with water. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. Still more to explore here. Inside the seed. Hog and thorny vines. Harmonica music when I aim it at the seed. I launch my little scout into the seed. Somehow the seed is much bigger on the inside. Well, I mean, that maybe explains the um the dark bramble should i go to ash twin that, ash twin feels like an end game zone but f it we're gonna go there bro abort abort okay Other planet? This ain't about you? This looks like a whole lot of nothing, bro. That looks like a tractor beam. It's like sucking up sand. There ain't nothing on this thing, dude. Call me Magellan. I just circumnavigated. Okay. Right, we have like three signals, three little beacons. Of course, it doesn't send you. It doesn't send you down, it releases you. Let's try South Pole. 
Now let's go back to our ship. Okay, similar, similar vibe. Yeah, not getting sucked. Me from 19 to 28. Okay, well, so far what I'm seeing is this planet ass. This planet's ass for the ass people. Let's go Ember Twin. We haven't found anything for Ember Twin at all, but... Oh, that wasn't even... Oh, wait, no. They're, like, kind of trading. The Sunless City. Ow. Okay, well, not getting through there. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. I've activated the gravity cannon. The shuttle is currently resting at the comet. Okay, I remember them talking about a gravity cannon somewhere. On, uh, oh, maybe it was the, the brittle, brittle, bracker, bricken, bracken, clavin, lord. Okay, this is it. That's the gravity cannon. Now that I'm seeing it, I understand. How much info do we have? I feel like I have barely anything. The Sunless City is a question mark. The Gravity Cannon is a question mark. It's not a question mark, but it's just completely unattached. Dude, I'm like, this This. This game is making me exhausted. Southern Observatory. Can't go inside the seed yet. Dude, my... My brain. This is, I just, I don't even know where to go. I mean, I, I don't know. Let's just go somewhere we haven't. Where have I not been? Hourglass Twins, Dark Bramble, the Interloper. I haven't been to the Interloper. Unfortunately, it's literally as far away as humanly possible. Wow, we got far from that thing already. What is this little guy? Thank you very, very much. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't help that I. Abort! 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 Ab I. There was a sun there. Fire. Fire hot. It's fire is hot. Um. I think, um. What's not helping is I got like, I got the equivalent of airplane sleep last night. Because Danielle hasn't been feeling well. And she's been coughing a lot. So I slept downstairs. On the couch. But I didn't get good sleep at all. I got airplane. You guys know what airplane sleep is? Airplane sleep is where... You don't, you don't really fall asleep. You just kind of fall unconscious. You just kind of knock yourself out. And there's no real like... Did I sleep? Or was I just unconscious? Okay, this little guy, I feel like I tried to fly into it last time and just nothing happened. I'm gonna try one more time. It's just nothing. I run into it and it just disappears. Um, so next time, is this, do I, this is ice. Well, wow, that's ice, okay. Um. Okay. This is just a giant ball of ice. Nothing doing. Relevant later, potentially. Relevant right now, unlikely. I thought there was like some spiky in. Maybe that was just like the trail. Okay, this looks like something. This is troublesome. It seems com the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? 
Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled that perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise. If you know, okay, we're going to investigate the surface. Okay. Well, I'm going to choose to completely ignore that because I would like to find something. I didn't look very hard. Bro, I got the, there's green dots all over this bitch. I'm not seeing much of value here. Okay, Frozen Nomai Shuttle is linked to the gravity cannon. Yeah, still more to explore here. Most of most things feel like they're gonna be here. What if I go into the black hole in my ship? No, where's Brittle? It's Ember Twin. Giant Steep. Hollow's Lantern. I think that's close. Brittle Hollow. Easy! Alright, we bounced off the tree. Nope. Okay, so now we're in the black hole virgin. Of this place. I wish I knew what this was trying to tell me. Oh, we can take it down here. Okay, got new info. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. You're almost ready. There's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the two, the tower of quantum knowledge. The tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower there. The crossroads. The shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. I know what I did last time with the gravity cannon. You know, I'm gonna call the shuttle home. Okay. I am here. After watching it wander for the skies for so long, I'm about to stand on the quantum moon. My shuttle has landed on the moon's south pole. I make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that it is true. As a child, I considered such unknowns sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. I am ready. Okay, can't go forward. Okay, well right now it looks like we're flying into the damn sun. Okay, we can only go to the left. Okay, well, I feel like I probably effed up. Oh. What did I just do? Jesus Christ. What the F?
Oops, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. We're just spinning out of control. There's nothing I can do. I have no idea what this is supposed to be, bro. Bro. It's never gonna slow down. I'm just stuck. I'm not in my own ship. I don't know how to... Dude, I, I'm not controlling the ship. I'm just controlling my jetpack. I'm not controlling the ship. I can't even GG go next to myself. I just, the ship is spinning out of control. You can open the menu. Can I just quit? Yeah, is my game gonna say, oh, F it, dude. I'm literally stuck. I'm not, like, uh, oh my God, dude. All right. Okay. Dark bramble seed. We can't really get inside the seed yet. We've tried. There's not a whole lot going on in the Southern Observatory. We have the village. We have Esker's camp. Gabbro's Island to Statue Island and the Statue Workshop. Um, I remember looking down into it, but I couldn't really access it. Found a Nomai statue lying on the beach. It looks like the one in our observatory. There's more to explore in the Hanging City. Escape Pod 1. We have Old Settlement. There's still more to explore in the Old Settlement. There's still more to explore in the, whole, in the Hanging City. Black Hole Forge, I don't really feel like I made a lot of progress here. I feel like we got here and then I died. So I kind of want to go back. Plan to make a new advanced warp core. Ash Twin Project sealed off. The No My Mines, the No Mines we discovered recently. Still more to explore on Gabro's Island. We have all this over here. Quantum Moon, Gravity Cannon, Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I was told to visit the Tower of Quantum Knowledge on Brittle Brittle Hollow's equator to learn one final rule before embarking on our pilgrimage to the quantum moon. Landed a shuttle on the quantum moon. Here's the shuttle itself. This is where I kind of got stuck last time. I think I launched this shuttle literally into a planet and it started spinning me out of control and I couldn't move. Warp tech, white hole station. I don't even remember where this was. Northern glacier. All right, that's the sun. That is the planet we just left. This is Brittle Hollow. I feel like, I still feel like I want to hit a Brittle Hollow a bit more. Let's see, I don't remember seeing this. Or this like light beam. Beam. Maybe I have been here. No, maybe I have. Is everyone unharmed? No one's badly injured from the escape pod's impact. Oh yeah, no, I have, I, I did read this. This is, yeah, this is escape pod one. This is literally escape pod one. Okay. Now launching. Escape pod three, two, one. Collision imminent, prepare for impact. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, activate, or awaiting departure from vessel. Bro, what the F? Okay. I'm just trying to like, I, I just don't remember every single thing that I've done here. Send let's finish. Yeah, I've read this. Okay, so this is the this is the temporary this is the temporary settlement. Why did the vessel crash in that place? We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. When where we arrived was wrong, it wasn't where we tried to go. It wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. Escape pod three. Was the vessel unwell in some way? Check for warp. Looks like everything was good. Okay. If a Herthian wears glasses, you call them eight eyes to make fun of them. I don't feel I don't feel like any one of these individuals has done anything worthy to be made fun of. So I wouldn't make fun of them at all. Am I doing the day one raid in Destiny? Well, my man, I've only done it literally every single time. So I think you can make a reasonable guess. We can hear the other escape pods distress signals, which give me hope. Oh yeah, I feel like I have radio tower. Okay. I've discovered that. Oh, that's on the, the home planet. Yeah, I think I need to try some more black hole stuff. And check this. 
Easy. Fuel back up. We find somewhere else to go. Okay, next time... Next time, I think I'm just jumping straight into the black hole and going to Brittle Hollow Black Hole Edition. Because I've done very little with, like, jumping into the black hole and then doing stuff in black hole version. Here's the thing. I don't even know if there's a difference between black hole version and not black hole version. Yeah, I've been here because we did the thing with a this, and then we dropped it in here, and then we could see some things. Yeah, I remember all this. What if I fall into the black hole again? What if we do like a double black hole situation? Maybe let's bring the ship. <laughs> Instead of just jumping into a black hole. How about that? We go again. Now here's the thing. I don't know if that actually does anything. Because it still kind of looks the same. I feel like this could be something. I just don't want to like leave my ship. <laughs> This looks like it could be something. Okay. Oh, okay. Welcome to White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, this warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Okay, so we do be spinning right now. Okay, so it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to do anything with that. Is this? Okay, we're spinning. Okay, now we'd be spinning. I don't know what this does. This is the problem. Can I move the ball while I'm holding it? I think I just did, right? Okay. Urgh. Okay. Well. Here's the thing is that I don't know pretty much anything really step on the warp receiver platform to activate return warp I still don't really know what to do with this projection stone okay I guess it was aligned How does this help me? That is the question. Also, I still don't really know what to do with this thing. What is that? What's... That's escape pod one. Is it just, what is that? What's that thing? How do I bring out the map? The Hourglass Twins? One of the, one of the things is on the Hourglass Twins. Yeah, see, there's the ship. But I don't know how to get out of this. Oh. You ship log. Okay, we've probably learned some things. The vessel, mural panel three, skate pod three, mural panel two, mural panel one, white hole station we've discovered. So we've uncovered this like ability to warp between the black holes it looks like without actually having to jump in a black hole. I think that I 
Still literally have no idea. <laughs> the Veshel Crest somewhere in Dark Bramble. How are you even supposed to land on Dark Bramble? One of the escape pods never made it out. A mural of three escape pods. Ensnaring the Nomai vessel. Encountering a signal. Escape pod. One of the three landed somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. Okay, I, we go Hourglass. I've been to Dark Bramble. It didn't look like there was anywhere to like actually sit, but I guess like, I don't know. I, I never thought of the idea of like just leaving my ship and like just going out and exploring and stuff was an option, right? Like signal. Okay, that's something new. Okay, that's a that's Outer Wilds. We want, not Quantum, we want Distress Beacon. That's Escape Pod 1. Okay. This other one is in this direction. What the hell am I supposed to do about this? Okay, we can maybe go inside. Unidentified signal nearby. Okay, escape pod two. What do we got? Juice me. My status reports for all systems. Is everyone unharmed? Escape pod's passengers are afraid, but physically well. Everyone survived. Find the other distress beacons. I can hear both, but I don't believe either escape pod crash on the same planet as us vessel has been mortally injured emergency sequence activated waiting for departure launching two collision imminent do not seek shelter on planet surface the heat from this star's system star system sun is more bearable below the surface when our escape pod punctured this planet's surface it broke into what scans show is a cave system with much cooler air i would Recommend we seek a site down there to build long. But the passages are a maze. Even with this danger, there's still the best chance for survival. We'll make the mark the walls. Be careful. Be aware of the of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. I have a flashlight. I remember. Keep moving. There's nothing here. Can wait till another time. Do not follow this tunnel to the end. Well, now I gotta. I mean, how are you gonna tell me don't do that and expect me to not don't do that? Okay, we have made it. I see ball, I move ball. Anything up here? This is quite a effing chasm to uh, to navigate for a shelter. How's come to us here? We have encountered others. In these caves, I think it's a rare find. From what we can see, Coleus and I believe the specimen must be very old. Gotta examine it. Both agree it's unlikely this dry planet is this horror's place of origin, especially considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. The hole is too small for it to have fit through. There is another entrance to this cave. If there is, we'll find it. To find a way inside quickly because when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. Okay. Three minutes oxygen remaining. Dude. Fossil overlook. I'm just gonna effing choke here, I guess. I don't know. Oh, trees? Let's go. Should we build a sun station to power the Ash Twin project? Are there any ways to make more power? I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the sun station must be built if we continue, or if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. I can almost, I almost can't comprehend this being the suggest, this suggested seriously. The person of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. 
but pushing a possible technology further than ever before that in my experience is the defining characteristic of our species if we fail we will without question destroy ourselves all life here and the rest of the star system i wish to protect those species potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost we shouldn't build the sun station no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it fear of failure is a poor reason to not try i believe we're cautious the sun station will work so lots of fighting about a sun station this looks like we're gonna go to different floors high energy lab stepping stone angler fish eye shrine district let's go to the eye shrine district Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, what happens if you suck me? I got a door here. Ah, uh, more ghost. Ghost matter. Okay, so the moment we go in there, it's not good times. That entire bottom floor is just effed. Well, it looks like there's a very, very specific path. Never mind. It looked like there was a path, okay? So what's the point of having this second level? Or maybe there's just nothing. There's just another suck tube. Okay. Okay, this is new. Be welcome to this place. The shrine is a, is a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system. The signal from the eye. We observed the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. The source of this signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than the universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind. If the eye called to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? Did something happen to it? Did the signal stop? Does it not want to be found? Perhaps it's not the eye's choice. The eye might not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe somebody made it. If the eye is older than the universe itself. How could something exist before it's created? Or its creator? be naturally occurring though this doesn't exam uh, answer how the eye could be as old as it is did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal or did we hear the signal by coincidence we could be seeing meaning where there is none suppose the signal was produced incidentally uh sixth grade english teachers when they ask kids to write a book report on hidden meanings bro it doesn't matter that his shirt was blue it's just his that's what he picked up out of the drawer does that mean the eye is any less important though perhaps the eye wanted to be found maybe it chose us does the eye desire something from us could it need us in some way maybe it doesn't have to be us teacher his shirt was just blue it didn't it doesn't matter bro it's not that deep wasn't there something where like a, like a kid wrote a bunch of authors to be like, does your stuff really have hidden meaning or are teachers just bullshitting us? And I feel like the response for like most of them was like, nah, it has no meaning or something like that. <laughs> All right, that seemed like a, a pretty nice find. Okay, let's go to number three. Oh, is this just turning on the lights? That's all it's doing. It's just turning on the damn lights. Okay. Like, is, this is sand. Oh, okay. So I see the sand do be filling up. So it looks like we missed our opportunity to get in there. So we're going to have to come back. This is gravity cannon. I'm not very good with the gravity cannon. Not really my thing. Too much. Gotta go a little bit quicker next time. You gotta be quicker than that. Fuel level critical. There's the gravity cannon. Where's my ship? Okay, that thing looks like it's opened up a lot. I want to... How's the playthrough so far? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm unsure. Woo! Fuel me. Let's go. Yeah, that's a little far, but okay. I just like, I found so much information and I just have no idea what to do with it right now. Skate pod two leads to the sunless city, leads to the sun station. That's all I found? There's more to explore at skate pod two. Debated building a sun station in order to power the project. The opposed to construction, arguing failure. Could be so, eh. Travel the solar system in pursuit of something older than the universe itself. Okay, there's still more in there. That doesn't surprise me. I feel like I'm kind of running out of time though. Maybe just go to Ember Twin. Okay, this looks like another warp. 
warp zone here. Warm warp core fresh from the black hole forge. Root is installing this core's sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. I wish I could wait here for you to arrive with the forge. Just calling. I'll return more material soon. My gratitude. With this, the Ash Twin project is underway. I'm deeply curious about what you and folks found on the White Hole Station that started this project. Can I visit sometime? I recommend you do. The station is the model for the towers being built for the Ash Twin project, so a visit to the station would be useful. So for, for, oh my god, suppose more precisely I would like you to visit White Hole Station with you. Okay. Go meet her on White Hole Station. We have to explain our findings. Now my ship! Bro! Let's do some more stuff while I'm here. This looks kind of familiar. It's like another warp zone. Yeah, this looks familiar. I feel like I saw this in one of my visions or something. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's a whole hell of a lot to do here. Okay, it just stopped sucking up sand. It just stopped. Can I go into the middle now? What does that mean? What, is, what does that give me access to? <sighs> okay. How far have I made it? I don't know. I'm just kind of playing until something happens. I don't know what the biggest discovery I've found in the game yet is. I'm guessing it's like Eye of the Universe, Escape Pods. Probably the ability to teleport between like Black Hole or whatever, something. All right, what else did we discover here? Ash Twin Towers, cool. Okay, big, big connection there. Several large Nomai Towers form a ring around Ash Twin's equator. Whitehall Station was used as a model, which were built for the Ash Twin project. Guessing, here's what I'm guessing, is if you're at Whitehall Station, wherever Whitehall stay, never mind, I have no idea. And I want immediately, I immediately want to go back to these fellows right here. My left stick is not working. Oh, hello. Okay, this is worth. It's Chert. Goodness, it's you. Hello, I take your first launch. Went well then. Welcome to the Yellow Grass Twins. Mind the sand now. Hornfells asked me to update our star chart, so I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know. What's weird is that I've actually seen a couple of super supernovae today. Usually I'd be fortunate to see one. I found something. I found your notes about Adel Rock's main crater. The planet I mentioned may have been frozen solid or just partially made of ice like a much colder giant steep. It's hard to say. It used to be the fifth planet in our solar system. You'll notice there's no such planet. Now, in its place, Dark Ramble, which had to put this grew into the space the fifth planet used to occupy. That is, Dark Bramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out. Eventually, the planet shattered completely and its shards were flying across space. Some of these shards collided with the biggest celestial bodies, such as the Outer Rock, which is, I believe, how our biggest crater was formed. Okay. Well, nice to hear from, from him. Check out the twin once a little more of its sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. That's not my ship. That's not my ship. <laughs> That's not my ship. Looks like deep That's not my right ship. Now. Coleus is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole several days ago, and we're not able to find any trace of him. I don't know how much hair he had. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the north pole okay go back to the north pole i guess this means that this rock wanders like the quantum moon does how curious oh yeah this guy i kind of want to go back north to this lake bed i don't know how far down oh we can go down i might have just missed my opportunity i need to find the real entrance I think I gotta go back to my ship to refuel. But also I feel like even if I do find the real entrance. I feel like if I find the real entrance, I'm still not gonna have enough time. Okay. We 
could go in. I don't know if this is the same one. Fear our situation may be dire. Pi Poke and I landed here on this comet not long after its arrival in the star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings come across somewhere beneath the surface. Locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side, and they descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. They've been gone for a long time. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol. So, getting into the ship, launching out like this, so we just get grav launched. But then we do this, we get teleported right back. Why is that important? Like, what, what does this do? Okay, I get launched. Where does this take me? Or am I just like going out into space? Does it even take me anywhere? I don't think I really have time to go anywhere else. Where would I even go? You're, I think you're just nothing. You're just kind of like a moon. How's the game going? What do I know? I don't know. I don't. I know a bunch of tiny puzzle pieces that don't link up in any significant way at the moment. Easy. Now we do it. Be welcome. Uh, this is, uh, above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're making your first pilgrim, send these stairs to obtain the last knowledge you will need for your journey. Okay, here's the problem there. Uh, there do not be any stairs. There's a little, okay, we can get a little suck beam. Southern Observatory. Okay, we can take more pictures, but of course we can't get in. That's the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. Okay. Oh God. Oh jeez. Oh boy. Well. We did just get sucked into a black hole. It's, it's, it's uh, you know, it's not great. Uh, how bad it is. Uh, Who's to say? Um, but I can tell you with a pretty good amount of confidence, it's not good. That achievement was for using my oxygen as jet fuel. <laughs>
Just observe the quantum moon in orbit around Dark Bramble. You have keen eyes, so this moon travels to a total of five locations, not four. Added a marker for Dark Bramble. But the locator now accounted for all of the phantom moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the device. It's also problem there exists a sixth place in the star system in which the phantom moon travels. Oh my god. I'm gonna start my stream. Okay, buddy. Have a good time, buddy. Thanks. I again have missed my opportunity to go beneath the sand because I keep finding something new. I think I missed my chance again. Damn. I don't even know how to like process all this information. But unfortunately, I think I'm gonna run out of juice. Okay, we have Sunless City. Um, we want the Scout Launcher in photo mode. Okay, it it's this is a bait, so we can't go that way. You know what? I think I just I'm gonna go to Dark Bramble, dude. I don't know, man. Quantum Caves, Lake Bed Cave, Quantum Moon Locator, six location. Quantum Moon might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. It travels to a total of five locations. Possibly to an unknown sixth. Held a useful knowledge for Noma embarking on their first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. The Wandering Rock was first spotted in a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember Twins North Pole. Vanished from a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go to Dark Bramble and I'm just gonna explore. So where Dark Bramble? Does it match velocity if I tell it to match velocity and then I get out? Okay, I think my ship just went bye-bye. I feel like something scary is about to happen. Oh. Yeah, that's like a big creature guy, isn't it? That's what that is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah! You died. I did die. That sucks. Why is this game so exhausting, bro? Is there a hyper-specific question you wanted a direct answer for? It? No, not yet. It still feels like there's a ton of stuff to uncover. All right, this time I'm going to the place that I said I wanted to go, which is the damn lake bed. I'm going in the damn lake bed. Before it fills up with sand. It's already starting to fill up. Thanks, I hate it. Okay. Nowhere to like get around. Tell me this is just a dead end. Go up. Unless it just spills into here and this is the way I'm supposed to go in. But I kind of want to go down more. Let's just pretend that that was like the entrance I was supposed to go. Now we're kind of backtracking. Dude. Are you really, sp you're supposed to go that fast? This place is already filling up with sand. Oh, it just, okay. Wow, it doesn't, you don't even get a chance.
It, you you go too far, it just smushes you. Jesus Christ. Ember Twin do kind of be looking like a Jebel Barkle if it was its own planet. Why would they make this all windy? I think I'm still underneath, but no. But like I get out here and it's just... Okay. It's, 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 it's a whole deal. Okay, we got a platform. We gotta do some platforming. Okay, that's our hint. There, you mother. Okay. Okay. Can't wait for this to lead me absolutely nowhere. Okay, some prickly. Okay, we definitely. Oh. Wait, is this quantum prickly? That's where we came in. It's quantum prickly. Dude, F you. The whole thing is quantum. It keeps going in and out. Okay, look away. New path. Oh, I'm just gonna go over here. Oh man, it'd be a shame if I just. Oh, it'd be crazy if I just. Oh wow, it made it, maybe if I went. Oh, maybe if I went this way, I would just turn it into something movable. Dude, I I swear, me mom. Oh man, that oh I guess I can't go that scan you. Oh, it's the cave shard. Okay, we've already discovered this one. If you come here to look for Colas. Uh, this is where he vanished. He's been missing two days now. What happened to Colas before he disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I saw Colas standing on one of the largest ones. I was taking note that my lantern died. When I lit it again, they are both gone. Your strange wandering rock friend is here, though Colas isn't. He observed this unusual looking rock shard, at least in two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. I looked away. It's gone. Yeah, that's lights. It's back. If I stand on top of it. Oh. Now it's gone. It just turns off the lights. Okay, it just turns off the lights. Maybe. Okay, but why would they include this? Why would they include a light switch in this spot? Right? There has to be a reason why they included a light switch. Maybe makes it easier to like look away from the rock. But if I'm on top of the rock, it feels like... And the rock crush me. And it won't appear if I'm standing where it could be. What? Oh! Okay, I look away. There it is. And I put my dude on it. And now I turn away. And now he's gone. He's a hundred twenty something meters away. The lights p switch position also keeps moving. Everything is moving. 
Everything is moving. The light switch moves. Now it's there. I turn away. It's over there. I turn away. It's over here. I turn off the lights. This rock's not moving. The rock's not moving because my scout's on it. Why is that relevant? Do I need to go, like, find it? I also can't appear to get out of this. Oh, come on. Okay, so it's like I'm stuck in here. And then my lantern died. When I lit it again, both of them were gone. I have my scout on there. Do I have to... Do I put my scout here and then I go on it? I bring him back. There's the rock. I jump on the rock. I plant my dude here. And then I like look away. And I look away. But the scout gives like a ton of light. So that doesn't really help. Am I, am I supposed to go along with the damn thing? The light is important. Standing on the largest one. I was taking notes. My lantern died. When I lit it again, I swear to God, if it's my flashlight. It was my goddamn flashlight, wasn't it? You son of a bitch. This rock took me, took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. I wonder if I myself became Quantum briefly, and the rock carried me here. The rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings. I'm gonna bring this to my mentor. We theorize a, when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, the being can become entangled with that quantum object and they move together. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or an exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. It's returned. Never ever been so happy to see it. Okay, the stupid flashlight, bro. I look away, and there it is. And I jump on, and I turn it off. And I turn it back on. I don't think we moved. We did move. Why does this look like somewhere I've been before already? Oh god, the sand's piling up. Because it is. It is somewhere that I've seen before. I just didn't know that in here could be a rock. I turn it off, I turn it on. I turn it off, I turn it on. I turn it off, I turn it on. Okay, we're back to the beginning. There's four different spots. Turn it off, I turn it on. This seems like a spot that I haven't visited. Oh my god. How is my ship right here? How is this the most convenient thing in the world? This stupid flashlight, bro. I didn't uncover anything new. All of that quantum jargon, no updates. Okay, that means we gotta go find more like quantum rocks. Where the hell were some of them? Quantum moon, quantum knowledge, subsurface energy readings. The shell's equipment heard strange energy readings come from somewhere beneath the surface. Two of the Nomai located a fissure in the ice on the interloper's sunward side. The Nomai landed on the interloper not long after its arrival in the solar system. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. There were three Nomai on board the shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm. Larry, the Nomai stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after they descended below the interloper's surface. Maybe we gotta go there. Oh. The ice is melting. Oh. That's why. <laughs> hey, you know what? That one's on me. <laughs> when ice get too hot, it melts. But also, when comet get too close to sun, it giga melt. So maybe I try to get on it when it's coming closer to the sun, but not when the sun's so big.
that I literally crash into it. Because we got there pretty late. I don't think I've made much progress. I've learned something that I feel like is probably a crucial piece of information about quantum teleporting. Okay. Ghost matter, bro. I hate it. No, no. I'm dead. Oh my god. It's more to the comet center. More dangerous than we realized. Can you hear us? Just if your voices are faint, I fear we lose communication entirely. If you continue any deeper, keep the shuttle warm for us. Return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. Be careful. Okay, I went down that one last time. guessed correctly. Spot down there. Okay, don't go down there. Good lord. Okay. I hate ghost matter. I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay, gotta go this way. We gotta go this way. Hit bad. Oh, a little too much. A little too much. That's that's giga bad. That is giga. No, it's fine. Wait, I'm I'm floating. Okay, that way bad. Spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy reading. No, rather, the source is what's within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be at least 10 times what we're seeing, at least. I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing. But it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is still dis disturbing, disturbingly volatile. Whatever the matter inside this stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at the density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. This is orders of magnitude worse than I imagined. If the stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously, and the pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star system. Turn to the shuttle. So our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave right now. The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Sacrifice themselves to learn more. So we're kind of learning about the ghost energy. What's it called? Ghost energy? Now I gotta get out? You telling me I gotta get out of here? Get down there very bad. Ghost matter. Okay. Here's the thing. I don't know if these other tunnels lead to something. They could also lead to something. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out. It's probably all frozen shut. Just topping up my oxygen. Probably going to need to use it as a as juice. Am I just going to crash into the, the sun? 
No, my ship, dude. I did all this work. I can't even get out. Dude, my ship. <laughs> I think I hit the perfect timing. What do we learn? Ruptured core. Fully unlocked. One of them stayed behind to in examine. Pull the other rush back to the surface. One of the rest of them. I don't know what I really learned from that is the problem. Like, I feel like I'm kind of out of leads. What's on, is it on Timber Hearth? Yeah, is, is the Quantum Grove here? Just so, just so I don't have to fly around for 40 minutes trying to find it. It is here, okay. I, okay. I mean, I guess I could go back. There might be more in the interloper, I don't know. Never dark bramble time. We went there and then I got my ass ate. What else am I supposed to do there? Dark Brimble. Brimstone's villain era. Drinking out of the toilet. There's also the thing, there might be other areas to go underneath that thing, Comet here. So we that one bad. This one is the one that we went down. There could be more, or these could all just be bait and then we're wasting time. Okay, down there looking kind of bad. And let me guess, this tunnel is also from the other way. Okay, so that they're both bad. So both tunnels are bad. So there's only one. So this is the only one. Okay, that leads me to believe I found the thing that I needed to find here. Here's the thing though, is that I think I am now trapped. I'm trapped under ice. Now I have time to think on what I've seen. There you go. You just go through it. But I do feel like I found at least the thing that I wanted to find there. Game plan. We need a game plan. The gravity launchers, the, sh the, the shuttles, like other people's ships and stuff. I have no idea what those do. White Hole Station, Ash Twin Towers, Sunless City. There's still more in Sunless City. That's, oh yeah, because, no, because we were trying to get there before the, the, okay, we're going there. And hopefully we can explore a little bit more before the sand, here we go. Look at all this effing stuff to, god damn. It's too much, I'll say it. it, it feels like too much. Conduits here, I don't wanna go in here just yet. This feels a bit extreme. I want to get to the, some of the lower levels. Like way the F down here. This is the high energy lab. No, it's starting to fill. <laughs> no. It's really not going fast enough. I'm not going to, dude. It's already like filling up. I'm not gonna, I don't think I can say explore like anything. Yeah, that's filled up. And, all right, where was the other way? There's, there's, there's has to be a different entrance. This was what? This was the, the stepping stone cave. I'm probably not gonna have enough time to do anything with that. Oh, what was the faster way in here? Was there even a faster way in here? Maybe it was off this way? No, I think I I think I discovered some new stuff over here. Yeah, those those with the I think ghost the ghost gloopy glorpy. Yeah, I just I don't know Gravity Cannon. Oh by the gravity cannon. 
But can we open the door from this side? We we can. Oh God. We gotta remember that for next time. Land by the gravity cannon and then like climb up the effing mountain there. Should I just wipe it? Like what else am I reasonably gonna be able to do? There's something really close to the sun. Um, I think it was up here. Yes. Go all the way down. And over. Get in. Go, go, go. Ow. Just following the line. Following the line. That's what we do. We follow the line. Oh, God. This seems like... Quantum? Quantum. Okay. So that didn't work. So how are you supposed to get past? Can you even get past? I don't think you can get past this. Unless you have to wait for it to get like above that, but then stepping stone cave. Yeah, we just came through this way. I mean, I'll try, but I don't even know where this, this is going to take me. Alright, come on. We got to get some value out of this. Are we playing the fossil fish game tonight? This one looks very ragged and jagged as opposed to the normal ones. Or maybe I'm just crazy. I've had the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to Stepping Stone Cave, the entrance to Fossil Fish Cave is now easy, is easy to see now. It's good you're small enough to climb through the hole at Anglerfish Overlook. I'm still small enough. You know, people are long. Mom and dad are tall. So you know, we'll be tall too. Is this like kids writing? Is that why it's so bad? <laughs> I think kids writing. We're meeting in Fossil Fish Cave to play the game. If you're too big to climb through the Anglerfish Overlook hole, you have to go the long way, but it isn't far. Go to Stepping Stone Cave and then up into Fossil Fish Cave. I tried getting into fossil fish through Stepping Stone Cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? I'm going to feed the fossil fossil fish first. If you go into the anglerfish overlook and throw a light into his mouth, he'll show you the way. This is Stepping Stone Cave. Dude, I don't I think remember. Oh my god, I gotta go reread what these effing kids are talking I don't even have enough fuel. I don't have enough fuel to even do whatever they're asking. Go to Stepping Stone Cave and then up into Fossil Fish Cave. Up into. Like that? Like this up? There ain't nothing up there. This up? Or did I just skip? Ah, I just skipped to here. You guys want to hear my bones crunch? Mmm. Bones. I went down there. I went all the way down. I went all the way down there fast. There was no way around that sand waterfall. There's probably got to be something down there, though. Unless the anglerfish is fed a light first. Yeah, I know you got to feed an anglerfish a light, but I don't I don't know if it's like a, a literal I don't know if that's like a literal metaphor or a literal literal. Dude, I've I've sailed across the damn uh, whole planet. There it is. Okay, you have to give a light to an angler fish? Brother man, what does that mean? I ain't see no fish. You gotta go up. It's hard to see. Feed the fossil fish first. If you go to angler fish 
Overlook and throw a light into his mouth. Oh, shit. Okay, so where the hell is Anglerfish Overlook? Your Anglerfish Overlook. I thought I'd been in here already. That's because I have, I just never looked in. You get stuck in it. Okay, you can't even escape. You can't even escape that thing. Sand stream. Okay, my scout's over there. Uh, I'm running out of time and I'm running out of fuel and I'm running out of time and I'm running out of fuel. Whoever it was when we ended last of the anglerfish, they have to wear a blindfold. The rest of us go line up against the wall when the anglerfish says go. The little fish sneak across the other side. If you get caught, you're eaten. Last one, cross. It's too hard if you can't see anything. Real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. It's okay if the younger kids don't wear a blindfold when they're it. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and make the game more even. Ship log updated. Okay, I don't think there's anything over here. I see that. I don't know what that's gonna get me. I'm falling. I have to use the rest of my fuel to try to make it. I clipped the wall. It doesn't even. It doesn't even boost you. The oxygen just doesn't. It barely does it, it barely gives you anything. I wish it was more of a, a like it gave you an actual last ditch effort. Yeah. Okay, go again. I will say things absolutely get frustrating whenever you have like, you know, two or three runs in a row where you really don't learn a whole hell of a lot. So we learned how to play some effing game. We learned how to play red light, green light. I probably should have checked the logs, but I didn't because I'm molding. That we saw after playing effing angler fish, whatever the hell. Three minutes oxygen remaining. Have I read this? Angler fish study. The specimen appears to be of the species of the angler fish and dark bramble. We don't believe it originated from this planet. That just attracts to just death by starvation. While I was making sketch of the angle, I observed the children saw it earlier playing here again. They added a rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. The long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it is used to blur. See, I feel like I, I skipped a lot of this. I, I feel like this is information I already kind of knew because I went to Dark Bramble and I just effing went in the in the Bramble butthole and I got eaten by this dude already. So now, what does that even give me? It just it just unlocks the the faint the the fossil. And there's still more in the Sunless City, which I feel like is that thing at the very bottom, but I can't get through that. Well, anglerfish are blind. I mean, I could go to Dark Bramble again. What? I turn off my light.
dark ramble. It's always so far, dude. Straight out of the way of this guy. Let's go. Thought about making a super group between you and Danielle, calling yourselves the Double Ds and just doing a bunch of travel blogs in an Anthony Bourdain style. It's very expanse to do that. But we're just so bad about vlogging because we, like, whenever we go somewhere, we go somewhere to, like, have a good time and not work. And vlogging is working. Even if it is just, like, a dinky, like, you know, 20 second clip or something, it just takes you out of the moment completely. You know, velocity match, because it looks like I'm about to plow right into it, brother. The angler fish is blind. That means it don't see good. How does that get me around it? Because last time. It just kind of ate my ass. Make very little noise. Dude, you literally can't even touch it. I was I was giving that thing barely anything just to move. I don't know what to do about the the angler fish. Gabros, you know what? I haven't been back to effin wherever this place is. Rybex camp. There's still more at Rybex. Being impatient. How am I being impatient? I feel like I gave that no gas. I didn't just want to run into the damn angler fish. Mashed my face into that one. Oh, right. The gravity is super high, so I can't even do anything. I think I've done this before. I've definitely walked up this. Yeah. Okay. I've been here. The, the, the black hole, the white hole stuff, I, I'm i so clueless on that. I'm so clue like, I don't even know, like, what any of these symbols mean. There's a bunch of stuff down here. I don't know what any of this means. What is that thing? What is this thing? This looks like another, um, teleporter thingy. I will say I haven't been back to this planet in black hole mode. Inside the island. In, they're in the computer? How do you get inside the island? Is there a way to swim around? Find an entrance? Do I maybe have to wait until the thing is like lifted into the air? And then I do something while it's lifted into the air? Cause that seems crazy. Down, we can go down. Mm. No, 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 I just got in here. I just got in here, bro. I just got in. Kind of step back so Daz is closest to the statue. When pairing the statue, we'll choose whoever's close proximity. See how its eyes have opened. That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. Great sculpting work. When we have our first successful pairing. We can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a signal, single gnomized memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin seems pretty big. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin project. They look beautiful. Though I feel like I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of an equipment failure. Why? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make it 
will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. That would be bad. I have no idea what any of that even uh, means. I've seen this before. Okay, what did that uncover? Statue Workshop and Statue Island. Statue Workshop. More to explore. Designed to pair with a single user, record their memories, and send those memories to a storage unit within the Ash, uh, Twin, Ash, Ash Twin Project. Only activate once it succeeded or in the event that it failed. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within the Ash Twin. There's still more within the statue workshop, though. Yeah. Yeah, we need to get, like, up there somehow. How do we do that? I kind of want this thing to get, like, a thing sucked up again. That feels like the only way to actually get up there. What do these effing represent? Are we going to pick it up again? Wait, the things are, they're, they're active now. Okay. That killed me. That one, uh, that one's a tilter. Because I don't know how to counteract that. I thought, like, being in the air and then trying to, like, push, like, propel myself up as the thing was coming down would, like, counteract it. And I, st I just got annihilated. The start of every time move, I keep seeing a, a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. We've been to Statue Island. That's what I'm calling it, seeing as it's the island where I found the glowing, you know, my statue. I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened. It's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Mostly connected, anyway. I actually reached the inside of Statue Island. I'm not sure what it's for. Do you think the statues are recording our memories in? Because I remember that one on the beach looked at me funny. That must be my memory friend. Orbital flash. Great. Must be happening in orbit around Giant Steve. The, the last time I was at I was at this one, I, I feel like I got no... I got stuck. There's like, there's like a jellyfish thing in there, and that's like kind of neat, but that's all I got out of this. Crashes two, boring <laughs> crashes zero. All the way to the core. Just got Feldspard. It's one of my more dramatic feats, but I do so for myself. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Can we tell Hornfels and Gossam about this one? I guess Bruce Ward isn't always the answer. It's one more off the list. Dark Bramble, here I come. Yeah, I, I don't know what else is supposed to be here. I'm, I didn't even realize that I missed that recording. I, thought, I, I didn't even see that the first time I was here, but I don't know what else is possibly here. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting frustrated. I feel like I, I'm missing so much with like uh, the, the white hole station, black hole uh, station. I'm missing so much with that. I still like, I, I feel like I haven't even comprehended how that works. Like at this point, I have no idea where to go. What happened? I went to pee for 30 seconds. Nothing, nothing's happened. That's the problem this is nothing has happened. And I don't know what to freaking do. Okay, I, I keep seeing people talk about, like I talked to, to, to Gabba or whatever his name is to do a meditate thing to just end the cycle early. How do I get him to teach me that? I don't think I've ever landed on this. So hold up. Okay, this is like the, the gravity cannon. What do you got? We finished building the orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giant's Deep for assembly. Our next step will be to send Privet up to Orbital Probe Cannon to install the probe tracking system. 
Tell my friends here at the construction yard my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may not actually succeed, or may actually succeed where others have not. Are you going gelatinous on us? If I know my brother, uh, they will want to watch the probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. I, I have yet to comprehend any one of these visions. Yours is the problem with the power source, so the cannon won't fire. I hope we're pulling my leg, bro. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. They should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. She fears Idea may feel responsible. Is she inside? Okay, here we go. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just I'm just flying. Construction yard. There's still more of the construction yard. I I'm I feel like I'm just literally killing time. I don't feel like I'm actually accomplishing anything. Like I wanna learn more about like the the black hole white hole situation. Ship log updated. I'm looking at this sign. I feel like I've made no progress in like the last hour and I'm just sitting here not doing a whole hell of a lot. It, feel, it literally feels like anything that I don't do within like the first, you know, one minute of me uh, like leaving wherever the hell I'm going is like a waste of time. Like I'm going to Brittle Hollow right now, but because I wasn't there minute one, like half the planet's gonna be destroyed. Unidentified signal signal nearby. Quantum fluctuations. Okay. Tower shard. I can't yeah, I mean it disappears, but I can't I can't really take it anywhere. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Yeah, descend the steps. Okay, blah 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 blah. That's probably somewhere I needed to go. Deep enough. I made this far though, I guess the path of focus on. Sure, something that looks like the hanging city is north from here. And east is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. Detecting oxygen from the do. Okay. So that's just him. He do be talking. The hanging city north 250 meters. From that fossil would help. What we learned from that fossil might help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never testified on or test to, tested on a live specimen. They studied the fossil, and we learned that they're blind. But then I tried going back, and I had zero success. <sighs> what, I have zero success? Because I got my ass eaten. Because I guess I made a noise. Yeah, we need to go up. How do we go up? Can, is this walkable? It is walkable. Bro. Okay, well, it's, it's not walkable enough. Unless I can go this way. Okay. Welcome to this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what process of the eye. From our travels. Yeah. I've read this. Much older than the universe it could teach us. Maybe it's a library. It's a source of the signal that brought us. The eye of the universe wishes to harm us, but it might not want to be found either. Fact, the eye may not have drugs inside. That's supposed to be my own fear of never finding the eye prompted my argument with folk. The immature of me. I should apologize. Uh like, that's it, right? Like, how do I get up there? How in the world do? No, it's ghost matter. I'm dead. I'm done, brother. Brother man says he sees a flash. There's something orbiting it. I feel like every time I've tried to go into this, there's nothing. What about... This, the, 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 the effing, okay, no, that looks like a, just all an island coming up and down. I thought I just saw, like, a thing orbiting. No, that's an island. Dude, where is, where's the, the, the damn planet? Where's the damn thing? Where did the thing go? Is it, it's just gone? 
This gar this garbage flying around. How are you supposed to land on that? It's just, it's it's orbiting so fast. How are you supposed to how are you supposed to effing land on it? Okay. Easy. Ow. Easy. Launch module. I think I can get through here. And, uh, launch scout. I'm not sure what he's seeing, but... Probe tracking module. This thing's completely gone. Did I just come from this way? I've done one of these. Thank you. I don't think I've ever done a Giga Boy like this. Pro can launch request received. Tra receiving data from probe. Structure compromised. Damage to multiple modules de uh, detected. Okay. Okay. It's something. Is that dark bramble? It's communicating. Request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. Can't align with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. This is a ship. It's like a busted ship. Oh, easy does it now. Severe structural stress detected, assessing damage to modules, control module intact, launch module with viewport window fractured, module exposed to vacuum of space, probe tracking module missing. Giants deep pro projection stone. There's a problem with the proposed power source of the old probe camera will be asked to fire. I read this. Okay, I've read this. Construction yard, yeah, okay. I've read this. I read it somewhere else, but I've read it. Yeah, I re okay, I've been here. I've been here. Can't read anything. Okay, I don't know what else there is in here. The ship's over there. I could have sworn there was like one or two more parts attached to this thing. Suck me up. I just want a little bit of juice. I'm gonna go right back out. Yeah, those. The This guy over here. Can I just, like, hoof it over there? Is there anything over there for me to hoof, too? It doesn't look like it. That just kind of looks like nothing. Probably should have went in there. Oh, that's where I should be landing the ship. Not just, you know. I, oh, that keeps you... Okay. Okay, I I effing get it. I get it. Orbital probe cannon. Launch module. Probe tracking module. Control module. This heavy damage is a breach in the glass thing. Uh, it's fractured, exposing it to the vacuum of space. Reports the probe tracking module is missing. Recently received a request from the Ash Twin Project to launch the probe. The cannon was aligned with a randomly selected 
probe trajectory was successfully launched, but the cannon's structural integrity was compromised in the process. Damage detected in multiple modules. Access ways branching off from the central hub area. There's still more to explore here. That is wild. Where is Bramble? I'm going into Bramble. I'm not going to I'm not going to move an inch. And if they still eat my ass, I'm going to be very very upset. Another thing I want to see is if I, if I can actually go in with my ship. Cuz I feel like I just made an assumption that I can't. Yeah, do, if I have to make any sort of adjustment It's letting it ride. I don't even know if I'm moving. I am moving. VOD watchers uh, continuously hit right arrow or double tap on the right side of your screen until something interesting happens. You gotta be far enough away for me to, to hit a little bit of throttle. You know, this tree kinda thick. Dude, it's still so close to me. I don't wanna I don't wanna touch anything. I'm I'm giving it some throttle. If they expect me to move at literally one mile an hour this whole time, then I have Ligma. I literally tapped it and it roared. I swear on me, mom, if that, if that causes it, I'm gonna be so tilted. This dude's just effing with me. He's just swimming behind me, just still making growly noises. He knows I'm here. I can't make any noise. Am I far enough away? I swear on me mom, dude. I'm back outside. I left. I took a wrong turn. I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna do what I think is correct. And if my ass gets eaten, the stream ends. Oh, I just clanged off something. Okay. No touchy. What if I touch them? If I touch them, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I can touch them. And I don't die. That is insane to me. Do a little bit of juice. Oh, they're like eggs. the hell do I do about this? I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking for in here. I'm just kind of like out here. Okay, there's another. T tell me this leads outside. I've been going in a straight line. Tell me this leads outside. I've been assuming that these are basically portals. That take you to like slightly different areas. Because the bramble is mysterious. I feel like this is where I was last time and it just led me outside. The problem is I just don't know how fast I can go. It's out I'm outside. Dude, I... <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking for in here. And the fact that I feel like I'm just going straight forward and then I get kicked back out is just... I'm just gonna keep going down. Or what I think is down, I don't know. Maybe this is up. This leads out. No, no, no. That leads out. Every time that is let out, I... I dude, I've been sitting here 30 minutes just swimming around in gray. I'm done. I, I, just swimming around. I see nothing, it's just bramble and fish. 
No indicators. I saw some eggs. You want me to drive into the effing eggs? I can't see anything. I have to go at four miles an hour. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Nothing. Just nothing. There's nothing doing. I am done. I am done. There's either nothing in there, which seems incredibly unlikely, or I haven't, I didn't find the damn thing. So I'm still looking for the thing in there. And then everything else otherwise, I just kind of feel lost. So <laughs> we're gonna keep going and seeing what we can do here. The gravity cannon, I'm still pretty lost on. Southern Observatory, Rybex Camp. You can't get to the observatory from the surface. Is a yeah, so, okay, so we did that. I feel like I've been here. The tornado simulation was in the Southern Observatory, but there's still something in the Southern Observatory. No one told you that you remind them of Adam Scott. I've gotten Adam Scott a few times. I normally get James McAvoy. What I'm also learning is that the timing, like I, I've known this, but it's it's mattering even more now that the time that I do certain things matters and it feels like it's mattering so much more. You must be standing on the warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. I'm still really not sure what this means. And I also don't really understand the complexities of teleporting between the black hole and the white hole. And I also don't understand the gravity cannon and how those work. It's it's like so demoralizing coming to this. Here, you know what something I want to do is I want to try and find escape pod three. Okay, there's an unknown distress beacon. Oh, is this the bramble? That's dark bramble. Okay, so there's a distress beacon in dark bramble. That's what I missed. Okay, so we're going back into the dark bramble. I'm guessing it's not gonna be very specific about where I need to go, unless it is. 500 meters to go in. It doesn't seem like it wants me to go in there, unless it does, it, okay, maybe it does. I think it does, it seems like it does. Okay, now it's gone. You son of a bitch. No, 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 no. Velocity match. Can I land? Maybe I have to go inside to identify it. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We fell out as long as we could here, but this pod supplied breathable air is nearly depleted and angular fish very long, a lot. Return to the vessel and either prepare, repair the damage or await rescue. The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It'll be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here quickly. Detecting two distinct, distinct beacons from the vessel, but it isn't possible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. Okay, that's kind of where the black hole, white hole thing is coming in. The beacons are exactly identical to each other. If I had more time. We're nearly out of time. We gotta go. Oh, there's way more. Okay. Um, we'll follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us, but suppose the beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the farther two beacons. The decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal. Okay. Vessel three, uh, escape pod three vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure. Now launching. Multiple collisions. Navigation error, life support error. Gravity not detected, breathable air not detected, multiple life form, don't exit. Okay, I really want to get that scanned, so so it's in my log. There's also a trail of lights that they were talking about. There we go, escape pod three. Okay, we can turn you off now. Okay, trail of lights. Following the trail of lights. Following the trail. We have whatever the hell this is. Okay, so this this looks like the other end of the of the what you call it that we found that we found on uh on you know that place. Ooh, bug. We followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but now can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seed, yet the opening's too small for even a single person to fit through it, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. 
I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems to be able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel and still so far is difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying soon. We'll be unable to hear it. There's nothing we can do now but try to perhaps find a way inside or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. Sag. Is there anything else that we can read from this? So otherwise I'm gonna send I'm gonna send Brother Man in. I think that might be the only thing here. So I'm gonna send Can I even send? I don't know if I can send him in. See the pictures? I just realized that all the pictures appear up, up here, and I've been blocking them, like, the whole time. But I think you can see. You can kind of see enough. So, we're chilling. I wonder if I can send it through a different hole, and that'll give me a different angle. Let's see. I mean, it looks like... This looks like some, some Nomai tech. I, it looked like it landed in the same spot. This looks like it landed in the same spot. And it's about the same distance away. But it do be looking like a Nomai, like, thing. It looks like like a like a, a skate pod or one of their ships or something. What did we learn? Skate pod three to Nomai grave. Jesus, grave. Okay. All three escape pods were launched for something called a vessel, which is badly damaged. Yep, we know that. Um... They detected two distinct beacons from the vessel as if it was in two locations at once. The opening was too small for someone to fit through. The beacon was dying. If I launch my scout into the seed, I can take photos of an enormous derelict Nomai ship. Now I feel like I want to go into the black hole and then come here again and see if anything's different. So I'm just going to meditate. I haven't memorized like, oh yeah, see, I, okay, now I see the flashing. Now that's going. That's the first time I feel like I've, I've seen that that thing. Where did it go? That's the first time I've saw that flash that, that brother man was talking about. That's like, whenever I wake up, I see a flash from the thing and then it launches that way. And I don't know what to do with that information, but there's, I, I assume there also has to be a better way of like going in between the, the black hole, white hole situation. I just don't know what that is yet. And Mike with 83 big, big abort abort abort. Oh my god. Hard landing. Dang damn it. Okay. We go in. And now, fortunately, we're right, Jesus Christ. Okay, that was bull. We we flew past that. We're headed on over to Bramble Nation. Actually, let's, uh, we're gonna do some quick repairs on this ship. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. My ship. Stop, we equalized. Effing speed, bro. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Dude. It wasn't far enough away yet. Okay, there has to be some significance to the fact that, like, when I go through, there's this thing right here. You know what this looks like? This looks like a, the, the damn lanternfish jaw. Okay. Now, this looks... What? I don't... Is this another fish? No, this is like a... a it looks look like a damn space rock. What the hell is this? This is a, 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 a... It's not a quantum fluctuation? What the hell is this? It's just an annoying effing rock that looks like a tooth. We're gonna go all the way to the end again, and I'm gonna send my scout in. Looks pretty much the same, except now this is kind of like a blue. 
Yeah, it's the same thing. Now, what if I go to my scout right now? Like, it's 2.2 kilometers away. What if I somehow manage to get my ass out of here? Now, how in the Christ do I get out of here, dude? Okay, now I'm even farther away. I cannot believe I've already been playing this thing for 40 minutes. It's crazy. Bro, give it up already, man. No shot, you're still near me. Haul ass. Oh! Yeah, I didn't think this was actually gonna work. I didn't- I thought I was gonna have to leave the damn ramble. Is this the vessel? Come on back now. Okay. Uh, let's roll this way. Trees detected. Okay, ship log updated. We have a ball here. I don't- I don't- I don't want to move you yet. I don't want to move you, because this is gonna do some crazy... Some some crazy shenaniganery, and I want to explore first before I lose it all. So I'm gonna hit the GG go next real quick, and then we'll and then we'll turn the things on. Okay, well that's the end of that. Um, okay, just a little just a little exploration outside first. Okay, just a a little just a little exploration as a treat. Okay, there's like some upper platforms here too, but okay, so we have the ball, and then we also have this thing. Okay, that didn't do anything. This looks like some sort of connector. Okay, something's happening. Ship log updated. If I put you there. This looks like maybe some sort of a passcode I need to put in. Oh my god. I this is some sort of a password that I need to figure out or something. Now I need to find a a damn password. Okay, we got some stuff up here. We got some stuff to down turn side roll good god. Okay. This is a skull's vessel. Something went badly during our warp and the vessel is mortally wounded. We need to help as quickly as possible. It just fused with the local environment somehow. There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside itself. We are abandoning the vessel, any no my. We need your help. Is this thing broken? Can anyone hear? Our vessel is dying, we need immediate assistance. To any no my clans whose vessels can hear this message. It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources in safe places within space for now, so my clan and I believe the best option is for our clans to stay together. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy, we found that Black Rock's suns are fairly stable and life in the star system is thriving. We live in relative safety. If you prefer continuing or exploring alone, know that you'll be on your own. We're making our way to you. It's good for here to hear from you, Bromi. We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived and hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearance of Escal. Isn't this Escal's vessel? Simply stop responding. The other clans searched and searched, but I found no traces as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth. They existed and their story was real. What a curious event. Are you sure it's true? It was a very long time ago, but yes. My clan's ancestors searched for a skull's clan for a long time, but at the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared in this way. I hope you aren't comparing a skull's story to my clan's vessel. We feared you were gone, Neem. Not yet. We aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the Bright Spark star system exploded and was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll see you soon. Morlead, your clan is safe. It's good to hear any vessels nearby. Remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. So this 
the 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 orange is from like the past and the, and the purple is more modern it seems like that's kind of the vibe i'm getting but now dude i'm going to have to like f figure out what this effing password is learn where the hell it is unless it's just some somewhere here in the environment oh i didn't even come down here oh i'm posting grin Okay. According now, I've never encountered anything like this. The signal vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. So first contact with anything of this nature. Prepare to warp immediately. Wait, I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell the another clan where we're going? We can send the signal upon our arrival. This uh, signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly as we can't afford to lose the discovery this incredible. Focus on the warp. Okay. Is the vessel ready to warp to the signal's approximate coordinates? Warp core is powered. This will need to be a significant jump. Afterwards, we'll need time to recharge the core. Shouldn't be a problem. Everyone, we arrive at provided... Shouldn't be a problem provided we arrive at or near the signal source. Everyone, we're ready to warp. I mean, we still... I, 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 it's going to be forever to, to find whatever this password is. No. <laughs> okay. Well, we put a, we put a, a good dent... A good dent in this one. The password, that's gonna need, like, some some crazy amount of exploration there. Here's the thing. I have a three-sided pillar that appears to be some sort of input device. They tried to call for help, but uh, the system broke. The vessel can still hear incoming messages from other Nomai vessels. The remaining Nomai clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. I found a recording of the original signal they encountered from the eye of the universe they were worried they disappeared so they warped before they could tell another clan where they were going well i need some sort of like a passcode right i mean i could again i don't know i don't understand the significance of like the the black hole and the white hole nor to like how to how to teleport between them quantum moon i don't think i've ever even been to the quantum moon but also, I feel like I went through it one time. Like, it just nothing happened. But Sun Station's also, like, really damn close to the sun. I mean, I could try to go to Sun Station. I don't think I've ever been. Okay, so the Sun sun Station do be just, like, whipping around the sun. I don't... There's... How... There's no way you can land on this thing, right? Eep. Okay. I... Dude, there's, there's no way... I gotta... Look, there's, like actual space mechanics and then there's game mechanics and i needed to be sure of the game mechanics the mural uh, all of a sudden making a lot more sense now the only thing here that like i haven't been able to access is just like there's that giant sand wall that i can't get past quantum moon might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics it travels to a total of five locations it might go to a sixth location I'm gonna, I don't think I can go to the quantum moon, but I'm gonna try to go to the quantum moon. I'm pretty sure I just fly through this thing, though. That's the problem. Yeah, like, you go in it, and then there's, you're just, it's just gone. Now, maybe does it, like, reappear somewhere else? Can I use the effing scope? Quantum fluctuations? It's a tower shard. Unknown? It's in this big boy. Is there any way to get in the big boy? Ooh, ooh. Okay. Definitely haven't been here before, I'll tell you that much. I don't feel like they would put this here if it didn't have some level of significance, but I just don't know. Ah! Just don't know what its significance would be at this moment in time. Dude, making the super cut of this is gonna be so <laughs> tiring. <laughs> this is part 12. Okay, we have a little suck beam here. This is. Be welcome in this place. This tower shares all who asked the knowledge needed to make their first quantum journey. Okay. Is this the Tower of Quantum Knowledge? I thought that was on uh, Brittle Bracker. Okay. That's the same thing that we saw down there. I feel like I've seen this in a vision. I don't want to go down there just yet. Enter this place without friends. However, these lessons to learn. These are lessons to learn for yourself. All right, YOLO. 
Oh, thank you. Okay. No, I don't want the cave shard. Uh, I totally forgot about the quantum thing. The, the thing that we were actually chasing. Oh, we have another thing down here. Okay. Unidentified. Yeah, there you go. Island shard. And it's gone. Um, but we can only move around on those things when it's like completely dark. Observing a quantum object. Of the observing an image of a quantum object, these are the same. Observing a quantum object and observing the image of a quantum object are the same. image. So we need to take a picture. No. Okay. So I take a picture of that. It will stay there, right? It should stay there. It stays. Okay. We go we go down more. It's worried about going down too far. The arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. The arch and the crystal. Can we move? Okay, we can. Ah. The arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. No, I'm going to lose it. Yeah, son of a... Okay. Beep. Beep. Let me off. Let me. Let me. Please. Let me off. Okay. That works. You're gone. The tree's gone. Okay. Nothing else up here. Okay. This is the last one, what we made harder. <laughs> okay. So what are we, what are we even looking for? Oh my God, I have to like, okay. So I have to like turn away. Okay. No, I, I, I turn around too fast. Okay, I have to be looking at it. Okay, here. And then it moves up. Son of a... You're looking at both at the same time. And now I hide that one. And then we look at both at the same time. And I'm still looking. And I get up. Okay. Maybe I think I've seen this room. I've, I don't know what the, the those symbols, man. 
Offer our congratulations. You've ruled the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have lessons, other lessons to teach. Curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path, your path guides those who will follow later. Here's the thing. Here's why I hate this. Is now I have to go back to like every shard and see what else is there. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and say that there's nothing else on the island. And if there is, literally, I have Ligma. It really is amazing how much like giving it a rest and then coming back to this game helps immensely. If I had to play this all in one go, I think I'd lose my mind. What does the Almighty Computer have for us? The Tower of Quantum Trials. This tower held knowledge and know my needed to make his or her first quantum journey. Observing a quantum object, observing an image of a quantum object, these are the same. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. So now it feels like I gotta go back to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I have four, 47 Lamborghinis in my Lamborghini. We take a picture of the quantum moon so it doesn't move. I'm gonna meditate to bring back the quantum moon and I'm gonna take a picture of the quantum moon and I'm gonna see if that does literally anything at all. No, you son of a bitch. You had to look away. I'm stupid, because that's a quantum move. That's how it works. You look away, and then it comes back, you stupid moron bitch. I'm gonna get sucked into the sun! How do I take- how do I take a picture just- just of- on the ship? I die- I thought I just did it. RB, RB, real quick. Okay. I thought there was, like, a thing... ...that I could- I could do. Okay. I have a picture of you. You're real. Unidentified signal. Quantum moon. Quantum fluctuations. Oh no, the whole thing is gonna be... <laughs> okay, I don't, okay, so what's significant? You look significant. You look like some kind of a, of a, of a, you know, kind of like a cool guy. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna get over to you. I thought this was deep water. I'm very glad it's not. I guess I didn't really need to take a picture of it. I could have just walked over to it, but here we go. Okay. I am here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand that they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. Okay, there was, like, another tower thing that we missed. Yeah, this thing. What are you? These are the six different th places, <clears throat> the places that the that the the quantum moon can go. We have some murals here. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. I have. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. I'm not sure of that one. Recall the rule of the sixth location. I don't know that one either. Quantum entanglement is I can stand on a thing, and if I lose all vision and I turn it back on, I will be, I will travel with the quantum thingy. This one, the rule of the sixth location, that, this I don't know. That's the signal. This is the two, the twin planets. This looks like home base. That's a, a, a um, brittle hollow. This is giant's deep. This is dark bramble and that's the signal and this is the symbol of the quantum moon quantum moon quantum shrine i fed a down dead noma in a spacesuit i think those are the two major things 
I kind of want to go into the into the giant vortex. Oh, it disappeared. I didn't take a picture. Whip me around. Whip me around. Get around it, you son of a bitch. Oh my god, I almost made it. Okay. I want I'm wondering if going to the quantum moon when it's at different positions matters at all. Oh my Okay, this is new. Uh, I guess it does matter. Oh, this is mine. Okay. I've taken a picture. So now I'm going to try to go to the North Pole. My ship got quantum repossessed. No, I don't want to have to go to the... That thing... Oh, God. I think tow truck place. I'm worried that I'm going to go out of orbit. Yeah, and you land back. Okay. No matter what, you land back at the South Pole. Okay, here's the there's the thing, finally. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. Close the door. Look away. Shut off the lights. We go somewhere else. Taking great pleasure and frustration playing this as I went through the same frustration. It makes me feel better. Yeah, you know. I mean, that's why everyone likes people, you know, watching like first time Dark Souls or something like that or Elden Ring. It's great. Let's get back to it. Sorry for that uh, interruption there. Okay. We turn it off. We turn it back on. Okay. Now we're on Brittle. I don't think it's going to send me to... Oh. Oh, come on. Okay, what if I close the door? Now you will go away. Oh, I can't see you. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, come on. Man, I thought I effing big brained it. <sighs> Can I. First of all, I want to signal scope this. Quantum moon. Quantum imaging. Entanglement. The rule. I don't know what the, the sixth location rule is. Entang I don't know the, the rule of quantum entanglement unless it's like I put myself on this thing. Can I shoot my, my dude at it? And then close the door? Is my dude gonna snap off? Okay, take a picture. Great. Huge. Okay, come back. Can I? Okay, what if. Here's my concern. If I turn off the light and this door is open, what if I. Okay, hold up. Take a picture. Oh, but he, he stays lit. I mean, I can't bring him back and have the picture on screen at the same time. The lights are off, but there's still light coming in from this door. So as soon as I close this door, we're going to go somewhere else. How is this the only rock that doesn't freaking move, bro? And also, like, how is closing the door and, and this is not it? Okay, hang on. Hold up. Okay, here we go. Here's what we do. No, I can't do that. That doesn't work. I can't take a picture of this and then turn off the light because my scout's light is gigantic. I don't, I don't know. Here's the, I don't know the rule of the, si the the rule of the sixth location. I don't know what that rule is. So until I know that rule, I'm just kind of boned. I need to figure out the rule of the sixth something. Sixth moon. Sixth Flavin. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Maybe I should go back to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, because now I actually have Quantum Knowledge. I don't know. I don't remember how to get back to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I just kind of fall on the planet and and uh you know uh, hopefully i make it there is there a way to like go to specific locations on a planet or you just gotta just hope that you find the right way you gotta remember mark it in the ship log mark it in the ship log and it gives waypoints as long as it's not a question mark well piss on my dick and shit on my butt I don't have it in non-question mark form. So now I gotta effing get down there. That's what I was asking. <laughs> How?
How do we get to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge? Knowledge! I just, I, I effed it. I biffed it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna slingshot. Okay. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge West. So it's, it's that. That is the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Gravity's pretty thick here. Quantum Knowledge. Send these stairs and obtain the last knowledge you need for your journey. The last knowledge I need for my journey. Here's the thing. I don't know if I use like the limited things that I have learned to do stuff in here. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. This is like the longest uh, cycle I feel like I've ever been a part of. I need to get in here, but I just, I don't know the way to get in here. It doesn't feel like any sort of quantum rules apply to this tower. That's the problem. Like, it, it, it feels like they, they start you here and then it's just like, you're supposed to go launch over there and then it just doesn't. And it's like not making a hole in it. It's like perfectly still intact. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna meditate and hit the GG go next. I don't know how to get in here and like getting in here is the, the single most important thing that needs to happen for me to progress it feels like. Okay, well we're getting sucked. Oh no, no, I ran out of fuel. Oh, now I can go up. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate. Uh, I'm using all my effing fuel in my air, dude. No. <laughs> Is gonna let me walk? Okay, I have like a minute to glean whatever information I possibly can. Oh. Wait, where's the trees? Go back to the trees. Tree, do you count? Where's the tree? Down. Where was the tree? Where's the tree? Where did it go? Where's the tree? Oh my God, I'm so pissed. Where did the tree go, dude? Oh my God, I thought it was up here. <laughs> Where did it go? It was at the very top. <laughs> that is so annoying. So do I now have to wait that whole time for that thing to happen now? Cause it just pushes you straight down, even though it feels like it should let you through. So I don't like, this is the only thing that I feel like is left in, in Sunless City before Ala Cool comes and shoves an ax up my butt. And here comes the sand, do, 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 do. Here comes the sand. I don't know if I just need to wait for the sand. Three minutes of oxygen rain, Jesus Christ. Okay, it's above. You just have to wait for it. God effing damn it. What are you, what are you supposed to do now? Ugh. Oh, uh, it's a dead end. F you. I have Ligma. Get me out. Oh my god. You just have to wait. Of course, you just have to wait. Right? Of course, of course, of course, of course. You just have to wait. Um. Okay, well, this, this just pushes us down, so we can't can't even use that right now. Let me 
love some oxygen. Okay, big ball. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from Whitehall Station. Devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or a machine error. What we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. So going backwards in time. Our experiments uh, will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on white hole station. It is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. Exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. Our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times. Papaya is unconvinced it's more than equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eyes. We've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. All available energy has been rerouted. We're going to run a test. Hypothesis confirmed. A request we know before we reroute energy to the experiment. I hate to leave them in the dark. Okay, so entering... Okay. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22-minute interval is possible. That is to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. Something arrive 22 minutes before it's sent through. We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy requires to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Creating a 22-minute long interval is possible. We are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. It would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We need to advance warp technology. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit all this stuff. The only location large enough will be Ash Twin. The energy is currently unavailable. The Ash Twin project will be one of our biggest undertakings. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we use the warp towers, like the one we have on Whitehall Station to connect Ash Twin directly to each critical location. Poker Root and I can begin work on this immediately in a black hole forge. This will keep us busy. Each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. A gratitude to those who know my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been clarified. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The giant deep tower for instance could resemble a cyclone then we can model the timber hearth tower after a geyser mountain the store will need some remain closed for some time we're running an experiment based on the short and findings from whitehall station we're running this experiment until one of us can prove the other wrong so although it's inconvenient the lab can only be accessed by the path from the sunless city inviting sand inside would disrupt blah, blah, blah. okay hydrogy lab is now being used to design the ash twin project if you're here to help be sure to use the sunless city path to the lab the Sunless City. All right, so now now we can like move some effing things around here. This looks like it's shutting something down. Or we're diverting power to the, okay, what does this do? Oh, it just lets us see outside. Launch scout. Why do they want me to launch my scout out here? Why is that important? Remove warp core. Already holding warp core. Oh god. Why is this significant? Okay, we're already... Already all the way up. Why is it important that I can switch these around? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why these are significant. There's nothing here. Why do they let me... Why do they let me shoot it? What's the point? Why do we want to divert power here? I don't know. I know. You guys are freaking out because I'm not seeing a thing. I, I don't see the thing that I'm supposed to be seeing. I'm sorry. Because clearly if I saw the thing, I would know what to do. I'm not seeing what I need to see. And I'm sorry that I don't. But I just, I don't see. I don't see. I don't see what I'm supposed to be seeing. So here, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna meditate till my sleep. Mainly because I don't want to hear the bone crunching noises. 
I feel like anytime I've played this game, anything past like three, four hours has been completely worthless. What do we got? High energy lab. Ash. Twin tower designs. Okay, designs for each of the towers on Ash Twins equator. Each tower warps to a different planet, although many know my work to note that the sun is not actually a planet. Each tower was designed to visually reflect its warp destination. The towers allowed the Nomai to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all other locations crucial to the project. Successfully reproduce the temporal anomaly first observed at Whitehole Station. Warped objects appear to arrive before they depart. Discover that they can increase the negative time interval by adding energy to warp cores. Want to know if 22 minute was probably included to require new technology to produce the necessary energy as well as an advanced warp core to handle those energies. Ash Twin was proposed as a little... Okay. I'm going to go back to the high energy lab and see if I can find something. Now we open the door. Oh no, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be closed, isn't it? It's going to be closed and I'm going to have to go all the way back through again, aren't I? That's so cringe. I don't want to do that again, dude. There's just so much waiting. Here's the thing. I, I was just here and nothing clicked. I don't know. I really don't know why I'm going back. Because I don't think anything... Like, I, I didn't learn anything. I can't go back in. <laughs> because the cave is full of sand. I kind of want to... I want to go, like, through through a, a, the black hole and investigate that other station. It was a white hole station. A white hole station. Can I physically fly there? I guess I can. I, I, I'm misinterpreting what I think white hole station actually is then. There's still something to do here. There's still something to figure out. I'm not sure what it is, but there's still something to figure out. That's Brittle Hollow. This I'm, I don't remember that symbol is. Welcome to Whitehall Station. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. So I'm not 100% I'm not what that means. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Oh, it's spinning the, yeah. So then, at when it's as soon as it's aligned, I can go like, loop. and now I'm here. What the point of that is, I couldn't tell you, because I've I've definitely been here. Okay. I'm gonna grab that thing and I dropped on the floor. Have I put this here before? Review the directories you send. They appear to show no my arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Tested the equipment and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure? Uh, as I've already told Rami, these measurements can't be accurate. How can I know my arrive before they teleported? The implications are absurd. It would mean I've inadvertently broke several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We have to reconsider all of our beliefs. She kindly helped me recreate this phenomenon at the high energy lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. I just don't know why I would want the instant like teleportation. Like, why is that valuable? I understand that it is valuable, but why is it valuable? Warped objects appeared to arrive at the receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before they departed at Whitehall Station. This negative time interval was incredibly minuscule. They were skeptical if they could, if they could even measure this time to such a small degree. So are there like more of these? There's the Black Hole Forge and the Whitehall Station. Sunless City, we, I, I didn't even find the sun station. Let's say I go in the black hole at 10.22 a.m. I arrive in the white hole at 10 a.m. Or I arrive earlier, right? That's the, that's the actual question, just so I don't have to go dig back in the notes. 
the going through the black hole sends you to the white hole and the white hole and you will arrive in the white hole technically before you left the black hole right so you enter the black hole you go back in time to the white hole 10 to 20 20 minutes no they want to do 22 minutes so technically you 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 arrive at like the same time it, 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 so it's like 12 uh 10 22 to like 12 uh or a 10 22 to like 10 21.999 or something like that right and they want to figure out how to get more 22 minutes is how long i live before the sun explodes so you're you're not I mean, you are technically going back in time, but it's like you, you, it's more like a teleport is what you're doing between the, the black hole and the white hole. It's more of a teleport. It's not time. It's not a new location. It's it's more of a teleport. OK, Brittle Hollow, we need to go back to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I'm just going to do what I usually do to get back there, which is just effing slingshot around the black hole. OK, suck me in the beam, baby. Get me in the beam. What I do remember is that the interloper can make one orbit around the sun, and then the next time it orbits, it explodes into the sun, and it just passed. So I feel like we have a little bit of waiting to do. All right, nailed it. I can't see. Where's the interloper? Okay, it's like just coming around the bend. Equalize, you mother. Okay. Okay. Something on this ground floor. Next floor. Next floor. Down. Okay, let's read. You've completed your preparations on Giant Steep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. The, the Quantum Moon will carry you just as it carried me and many in our clan before me to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided on your pilgrimage by the Shrine, their clan built in the Quantum Moon. To explore the sixth location, the Shrine must be on the Moon's North Pole. Be curious on your journey. The Shrine must be on the Moon's North Pole. Okay. How do you get that to work? Okay, but you always enter from the South Pole. If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, you're almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. We made this journey not only for ourselves, to honor us, the people who came before us. After the crash that brought them to the star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and, and, and Ember Twin with no communication. I can't read the uh, between those two groups of survivors. His Nomai looked upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting the skies. It was this moon that kept their curiosity alive during this time of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. This took time, and many who dreamed of seeing the quantum moon died before we could discover how to make this journey. When you reach the quantum moon, recall these Nomai and carry their curiosity alongside with you. And there's a thing here that we can do, but I don't think we have a, uh, a little tablet to put put that into okay we're out of time it's got to be on the north pole the shrine needs to be on the north pole but you only enter from the south pole but there's only so many planets that even allow you to have a north pole i feel like giants deep had a north pole that we could access okay we need to be on the North Pole. The shrine needs to be at the North Pole, which at the, in this instance is here-ish, where it's not quite there, but we can try. It's, it's North-ish. It depends on how strict they are about North. I think we're gonna go check the other planets to see if they can be even more North. And it looks like we can go more north. It just doesn't look like there's a there's a spot for the tower. I mean, here's the tower. I don't think we're more north. Timber, timber, something. Okay, now now we're at a, a north ass pole. Okay. 
This is, I mean, if we can't, we're as north as we could go. New content? Equator. Unable to pinpoint location. Talk to Solanum. It's not talking. What are you doing? Pick up identify stone, explain stone, me stone, quantum moon stone, you stone, I the universe stone. Okay, quantum moon. I imagine you've noticed the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location it's currently orbiting. I have. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its different forms, the eye must be similar, similarly malleable. We can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes locked to one specific version of itself when it is consciously observed. But what were to happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? You and quantum moon. Like many of my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Is this your first time on the quantum moon? It's my first time here. I've become looking for answers. I hope you find them. Explain quantum moon. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look like the same, look the same as the quantum moon surface does now while at the eye. We can reasonably infer that the quantum moon's natural state as we see it now and that the eye is as we see it now and the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics of the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum, thus the eye is also likely quantum. This moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum, the same way the areas surrounding the quantum shards that land on other planets eventually become quantum too. I, I don't think I need to identify the quantum moon, but this is the quantum moon. <laughs> yeah, is the eye of the universe's moon. These are the two tenets of know my philosophy. To seek out and to understanding is our way of living. And to understand is our way of living. Doesn't matter which or I think it's just probably which two. Identify eye of the universe. So I think I did explain, right? We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells in extremely distant orbit around the star system. I'm Solana Manomai. My clan arrived in the star system before my birth, and we now call it home. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying what he's cooking up. Identify me. I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions. I would ask if I can comprehend your language. You have your, my gratitude for understanding mine. What if I do, like, Eye of the Universe and quantum moon I feel like I'm just gonna be told similar things already yeah yeah I read this already okay um, many of my clan believe the eye called to us for a particular purpose when I was a child I used to believe that the eye was malevolent to have lured my clan to the star system only to then completely vanish but I don't fear the eye anymore in fact it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself someday, but I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that... Yeah, okay. Quantum, you and me? We don't have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. I just want to go, like, back to my ship. I don't, th I don't know. Th I don't think there's anything else to explore here. It's kind of just, like, the one line. I mean, could I leave? What if I just left? What if I just went outside the orbit of this place?
Oh. Well, that's not as exciting. Oh, he is plopping. Look at it. Look at this plopper. Look at look at big ploppins over here. Call him Soda Plopinski. That's a plopped out little doggy. He's a ploppins. He's the big ploppins. Okay, we're back. We have discovered the sixth location. What do we got? At this location, the quantum moon becomes a reflection of the eye itself. The eye is likely the source of all macroscopic quantum phenomena in the solar system. Uh, Solanium workers, or Solanum wonders what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye. As a hypothesis that they might not be alive. I mean, I think we go back to Sunless City and I, I go through that whole sequence again to try to figure out the thing on the wall. Oh my, that, that had to have been the greatest landing that I've ever done. Yeah, I never used landing mode. So I just kind of like free ball it and I've gotten pretty good at it. Don't want that. Danielle and I watched a video recently uh, that uh, talked about ozone and like UV light and was like, why aren't we using UV light to like kill disease? Isn't that super pog champ and stuff? They didn't say pog champ. I'm just translating for Twitch speak. It was like, well, you know, it turns out uh, UV like good at destroying diseases, but also good at destroying us. And so they went into like the different wavelengths of, uh, you know, what works and, and, how you can use it and, and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, oh, it's kind of neat. Yeah, I don't think Oxygen 3 is coming out anytime soon. Yeah, that, that was it, Maya. 222 nanometer wavelength UV light. And they would like shoot it up like above people so it wouldn't like radiate down or whatever. And just like kicks the crap out of like diseases and stuff in the air. And you need to have like a nice mix. Like you can't replace it with... Uh, like, you can't replace ventilation or your AC or whatever with it. You need to have kind of both in tandem. But I was like, that's kind of neat. The last time I was here, chat was getting really mad that I couldn't solve this puzzle. The problem is I don't, I still don't really know what to look for when it comes to this puzzle. That's the problem. So there must be a reason that this opens up. Like, why would they give you access to this? Okay, so I've already I've already read this this stuff here, and this changes here. So did I maybe just like not look in here while this was lit up? Like what, did we send power here. Does anything happen with the warp cores? Turn this off. Oh. Oh my God! I think I already know. You can put a damn core in there <laughs> I didn't even register that as a slot in the thing bro oh my this did not even register that that it was a slot it didn't even register okay but this also kind of tells me stuff that I already know It's just like it's just like proof of concept that I send it towards the black hole and it comes out of the white hole before it goes into the black hole. Now, do I get to run some kind of an experiment? Like what if we do two black holes together? No. So this doesn't really tell me anything new. Like I knew this information. Okay. So it's 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 like it's kind of like I can be in two places at the same time. Right? Cuz I exit I exit the white hole before I fully go into the black hole. So if I hover like around the black hole, I could also be in the white hole. Yeah, but again, unfortunately, this doesn't actually tell me any new inf like I knew that already. But now I need to probably figure out how to actually use that information in some way. All right, so what what do I do with this information? Because honestly, that was like the main thing that I knew I still needed to do. So now I'm just kind of winging it. And that didn't even get me anything on the effing rumor board, dude. That's crazy. All right, maybe we go back to the orbital probe cannon 
which is I'm pretty sure next to the white hole. I feel like there's something that I wanted to maybe do with the with the portal seed here as well. We'll run that back on the next one because this is the way we came in. Unless, no, maybe I have them wrong. Launch scout. They're in the computer. Can I fly? I want to fly outside and see if I can go in from the other side. I feel like I've already done this. I don't know. I could be wrong. But I do feel like I've already done this. Maybe I haven't. Ship log updated. I haven't done it. Probe tracking module, projection stone. Okay. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. <laughs> you won't ask the orbital probe can to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fear not, my nervous friend. We only needed to fire the probe once anyway, so who minds if it comprises... Uh, compromises the orbital probe cannon's in structural integrity slightly. I would mind. I would mind because if we don't, we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. All right, where is this? I have no. Oh, this is in. Is this in? This literally is in the computer. This is in Giants Deep. Inside that core, in the middle, that I don't know how to get into. Uh, Kasava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon we'll know the eye's precise location. The thought of concluding... Uh, uh, yep. Tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. Am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? I can posit with nearly 100% certainty that our friends have accounted for our natures, so I do suggest we do. <laughs> The Orbital Pro Cannon, all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the Eye of the Universe. The probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. This... This looks literally like where we are right now. It is. I mean, there's like a power node here that goes all the way around, but right now it's... broken? Yeah, it's all busted. Oh, crap. Okay, oxygen up, fuel up. So, uh, it looks like the module is underwater. I can see per Yeah, okay, so I know where that is. Counter, they wouldn't be able to keep capable of receiving the probe's data if the probe tracking module was destroyed. So, we know where this is. I just don't know how to get down there. I don't know if there's, like, a giga tornado that can take me down. I mean, I know there's, like, one tornado that pushes you under, but I don't know if there's, like, another. I am looking... For this, this hit the wrong button. Here's my concern. This is the one that we found already in Dark Bramble. Because I know we found one. Although, maybe that led... Okay, F, you know what? We ball. I also might run out of time. Like, let's get a time check real quick. Okay. Let's see the interloper. Interloper. Oh, we're good on time. Okay. So, like, um... How do you know what uh, what time it is? Um, easy. You just look at the meteor as it whips around the sun, and if it doesn't explode, uh, it's four o'clock. So, maybe get it together. Uh, uh, abort, 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 abort. Just kind of stacked on top of each other. Yeah, 
Uh, getting, getting lucky with no anglers. Oh. And there's another scout. It's too, who the F are you? Unidentified signal nearby. Feldspar. Whoa, where'd you come from? No one came, no one's come here in ever. That makes you the second Herthian to ever reach Dark Bramble after me. Uh, they made you an astronaut and you haven't blown yourself up yet. Good for you. You're alive. You never were the brightest hatchling, were you? Yeah, I'm alive. I've been camping out here since my ship, you know, crashed violently. Wait, what? Oh, this is a good story. I just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep, and I need a new challenge, and none of us have ever been inside Dark Bramble, so I thought, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Uh, I've been cruising around for a while, dodging the odd, massive, interdimensional vine bristling with thorns when I run into this huge anglerfish, the biggest, biggest I ever seen. I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off, nothing too fancy. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocks me into a vine, and, well, like I said, I crash, blammo. On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside, and I think, well, that ain't great. Sure, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. I camped out near where I crashed at first. I found this skeleton later. Great find. Would have been stupid not to use it. So I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. Wow. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, that's how it all went down. Story's over. <laughs> all right. Um, okay. Well, here's our scout. Duplicate signal. So there's stuff in there. Is this, so is this like a white hole? Or a black hole or something? What if I send it back through? Like we go through again. Let's go. Yo! Okay. Well, it's here. And I guess if I do that again, it's gonna do the exact same thing. Felt sparse camp. Still more to unlock here. I mean, I'm just gonna just kinda Wait, you reached a core giant's deep. I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. Mm. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep, if I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. You want to go to the tail end of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog? That'll be my old ship. Path starts there. Okay, well, there's a ship. Hollow vine. This doesn't feel like it. I'm I'm just getting tossed around. I'm gonna okay, I'm just gonna free roam real quick. No, dude. Okay, I can still make it. Oh, we're in, baby. We're in. This is a jellyfish. Oh my god, I'm getting sucked that way. Jesus. Okay, jellyfish. Can I go... E. Can I go in here? Oh. Do not eat this even if you're dying. You'll be too sad if this is the last thing you ever life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Jellyfish are insulation to get into the core. Okay. We need to use a jellyfish to get to the core. How the frick are we gonna do that? Deselect the uh, the orbital probe cannon here. I'll let y'all go. Oh my god! I'm stuck in it. How? How? 
how do I manage to wedge myself? I can't I can't even get out. I'm I'm literally wedged. I am wedged in this thing. Are you kidding me? How there's you have to line that up. So I could never do this again in a million years. I'm literally wedged. I can't I cannot get out. Okay. Now how the frick do we use the jellyfish as insulation? Do I just go into a jellyfish? That seems like it would just crash my ship. It would kill the electrical. Or do I have to get out of my ship? And I need to ride a jellyfish into the center. That seems more plausible. This dude being kind of a gloopy glorper right now. I'm not sure I'm into it. There's a dead jellyfish on one of the islands. Am I supposed to maybe use that one? Oh, that one just went back in. Okay, I'm waiting for this guy. Are you going back in? You look like you're going back in? You're going back in. You're going back in. I'm so slow. No, dude. No. Dude, why? I'm so slow, man. Okay, no, that hurts. Maybe we have to go to the dead jellyfish and do something with it. Or maybe I have to get inside of a jellyfish before it starts going down and it's all electric. Maybe I gotta follow it in? Can I, can I like follow it? Follow it in? No. Okay, I'm just gonna run into it. You're gonna get pissed. Yeah, you're pissed. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna go to the dead jellyfish that's on one of the islands and see if that, if there's any way to interact with that. Cause this is, this is not, this is not it. Hypothetically, if this launches up into the sun and it melts and it just becomes a carcass, it would fall down. I just don't know. This is the only jellyfish that like I know exists. Otherwise, I mean, there's like a campfire. Can I light the campfire? That would have been generous as hell. <laughs> I don't know how to get the jellyfish out of there. I feel like I've seen it outside of this, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I, I maybe I missed the timing because I know the thing went up. This, this particular one went up and down already. And I don't know if it's gonna get hit again. Campfire has to be here for a reason. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm gonna doze off for like a very short amount of time. Okay, we're re... I feel like we're re-entering some tornadoes. So maybe. I just wanna see. I just wanna see what happens when we get launched. Surely something hits us. Okay. All right, we just got launched. Is anything happening? This is, a, this is a risky maneuver that we're currently taking. Yeah. Okay, so nothing happens. Absolutely bloody nothing. Frozen jellyfish. Oh, frozen jellyfish. They're only useful for insulation from electricity. Okay, there's still more to explore here, obviously. How do we unfreeze you? Oh God. Am I wedged? Am I really wedged? Okay. What if, now now hear me out, I use the jets to blow fire on it and it melts. All right, it's not working. I mean, it's it's obvious we need to use the frozen jellyfish somehow. Is there anything underneath that we can look at? Because like the only thing that I can think of is is the sun, but we we don't get close enough to the sun. And the only other time we've done anything with melting ice has been the interloper, but the interloper gets really, really, really close to the sun. Would you do the jellyfish that had the note inside of it? I mean, I, I, nothing. I mean, I went inside of it, but it had a note in there. I read it and then the sun exploded. So unfortunately we did run out of time. So it's either I gotta go all the way back but they wouldn't mark this frozen jellyfish for no reason. Like this needs, or maybe it doesn't, I don't know, but it, it has to do with this guy. So we have to do something here. Or there's more to explore with the frozen jellyfish. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go back. I don't feel like there's anything at Feldspar's camp. Uh, you know what, let's just go. I'm just gonna go anyway. 
because they specifically highlighted the frozen one. So you gotta be able to thaw the frozen one somehow to use it. Or else, why would they give you that piece of information? Trip four, entry not one, crashes three, boring crashes zero. Never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside Giant Steve. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here. Blarg! This thing tastes terrible. Uh, the outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe this is it insulates the jellyfish insides from getting zapped by electricity. I'm going to go inside this jelly, see if it tastes any better. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and then we come in here. And uh, there's the note. And and that's it. Yeah, so I okay, so I I mean I know that the jellyfish insulates, but this doesn't solve the problem of how do I get the damn jellyfish unfrozen. Blaring Yeah, that feels like everything that I can get out of that value wise. Documented this time to do 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 Oh, so the frozen jellyfish wasn't the one on the planet. It was the one here. Okay. The plan I'm so sorry. I have to pee so bad. We're we're gonna break now. I'm just like I don't even know where I should be going at this point. I mean we'll go back here. There's still stuff at the construction. You know what? Okay, I, th I think there's a couple of things here. Still something here that I haven't found. Brittle hollow projection stone. I don't think I came to this side because I think I thought that it was impossible to get over here. I don't remember doing this. I feel like I would remember if I did this. Okay, this is back in the tornado room. I mean, I know where this is, but... Oh, we're floating. We're in space. Okay, well. Um, long range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. Ship log updated. We're lifting the orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly and the one and one somehow sank down, down beneath the current. That was impossible for anything to proceed. Okay, but our strengths at the bottom. Connect, uh, not create the phenomenon myself. Uh, what, okay. Spire constructed a model of Giants Deep at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Okay, I, I know that. I'm able to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. Why don't I visit the observatory? Would you kind of explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to show you. There are two tra trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay, I think I knew that already. Like, I'm, I'm aware of, of like, that stuff. Hopefully this is the last of the construction yard stuff, but I think I already know that. Um, this is, this island is where they built the Orbital Probe Cannon. The Nobi put the... Orbital probe came on an indefinite hiatus. It was not asked to fire. A long-range probe was recently launched from the orbital probe cannon. So now Southern Observatory. There are two paths beneath Brittle Hollow's surface that lead to the observatory. One starts at the gravity cannon, and the other starts at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I, the fact that this is still a question mark to me is crazy because I've I went into the tornado simulation which is at the Southern Observatory, is it not? So like, how do I not have this unchecked or like unquestion marked? I feel like I've been here like so many times, unless I'm going to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, which I don't think I am. This is, this is the Southern Observatory. Is it not? Is this not the Southern Observatory? What do I gotta go all the way up? I didn't take the stairs. Oh my god, I haven't been up here. Okay. I haven't been up here. Son of a... What have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? We believe our knowledge of the quantum moon... Or based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system's sun. That means the eye is located within a finite, although enormous, range. 
Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye's signal to this star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Addle Rock and the new more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Hypothesis, it stopped emitting the signal. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. How can you suggest that the eye signal called out to summon us from the star system? I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye's story, yet we're no closer to finding it uh, than you were when you first arrived here. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. Your idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is Relate, uh, where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoke with the, the technology? Uh, as we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue the search method. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant Sea would be a good choice. It's the furthest from the sun, provide the best angles for launch, and it's moonless. Let's build the cannon around Giant's Deep. Okay, this is just showing everything. Unable to determine orbit, no signal detected matching any known criteria for Eye of the Universe. The new, more sensitive locator the Nomai built in this observatory, based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, believe the eye was in a distant orbit around the sun. I'm going to start a sub search for the eye signal and search visually, submitting on a probe. Odds were low that you find it. Probe tracking module. That's the thing at the bottom of Giant's Deep. But we don't know, I don't know how to get to the bottom of Giant's Deep. I still haven't found the sun station. You know, okay, there's still one thing in the statue workshop that last time I tried to get it, we died because it got launched. Yeah, okay, it's slowly moving. <laughs> Just gonna push it out of the way here. Get out of here now. Go on, get. Get out of here. Get out. Get out of here. There you go. Leave. I've done that. I need to get up there. That is where I need to go. Yes. Okay, does this teleport me? No, it holds me in place. No, no, no. I want to escape. I want to escape. Son of a, son of a bitch. Son of a Too much. Okay. Just hold you in place. I don't know if they automatically turn off or what. They do automatically turn off. Okay. Okay. Big. Is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time, not my physical body, but my essence? Let's see. I imagine there are two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? Suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe this is different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in either case? Okay, well, I, I came all this way to get that, and that is just completely over my head. You know, I swear I parked it right here. Gonna meditate on that one. <laughs> hmm. Oh. No, statue workshop. There's still something here. Black hole forge. Won't you come? I've been there like twice and I still haven't found the forge, evidently. Okay. So, here's the earth. We can move the forge up and down. This is as high as we can go over here. So we're gonna scoot over here. I think I just need to explore this area a bit more. I'm seeing like a path on the ceiling. Is this another, like I gotta wait for this stuff to, to break off and go into the, and go into the black hole and then I can mess around with it? 
Sorry, this is also probably pretty boring. I'm just like, I'm, I'm waiting for things to happen that haven't, that I've never seen happen. So I just don't know when they happen. So I just have to stand around and wait. I don't think I have been over here for what that's worth. Like some more kids, uh, kids drawings here. Explanation of festivals. All the Nomai clans from all over the universe meet in one place and share what they learn in science and art. It's called a festival. When, when clans big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance too, like Anona's warp core, which made it so everyone can, ex uh, can warp long distances and explore more. As a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. A single festival can last a super long time. We can't go because we're stuck here. Da, da, da. Don't forget festivals happen every 10 years. I don't know if that's relevant. Formation of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and dense. As this early universe expanded, also cooled down. Once it cooled down, enough particles were able to group together to form things like... Uh, yeah. Since then, space has continued to expand faster. Yep. The universe get colder. Yep. Okay. Cool. Um, well, that didn't help. That, oh my god, what is that? Like, I don't know if this is... If this is gonna break off and collapse, or or what? This is a lot to have collapse. I don't know, I guess I'll go back up to the surface and see if there's a way in. It's not, now it just feels like there's, there's so few amount of things left to uncover. So I'm just not gonna be making as many discoveries. I need this to fall into the black hole and it's just not. Hey, you! I went back up for fuel and I'm back at the same amount of fuel. Alright, if I, if I hear the song, I'm, I'm gonna try to jump on the thing as it comes up. Okay, let me even see if I can run this quick. The sun's gonna explode. It's down there. I'm gonna just try to ride this sucker up. Can I jump through this? No. Okay. Sun's gonna explode. Get stuck somewhere? Okay. Let my jet fuel come back. Oh, I didn't want to bonk that. God damn it. Get up here. Land. It's all upside down. Can I land on it? If this was actually what I had to do, I'm I'm actually freaking out, freaking out right now. Ship log updated. Ash twin projection stone. What can I get done in the next five seconds? Okay. Um. I don't know how to get up there normal. Um. I'm really not sure what to do. It's crazy to me that there's still more stuff at the statue workshop that I haven't really uncovered. The probe tracking module is at the bottom of the giant's deep. And we need a jellyfish to go in there, but I don't know how to group up with the jellyfish. Hollow's lantern is just completely grayed out. Okay, genuine question. Actual genuine question. Is it possible to land on Hollow's lantern? And this is just a time save, like, to say it is possible okay because i didn't want to just go there and waste a bunch of time so i will go there 
Because that was basically the only thing that I really had left. The better question would have been, is there something even here to look at? That's the better question. Just falling down. Just gonna burn up. I, I do want to like explore it and stuff, but if there's genuinely nothing there, then it's just like, let's not kill 20 minutes of me trying to do something that literally has absolutely no point in the game at all. Because today I feel like I've done quite literally nothing. What, what could possibly be in here? What? could possibly be in one of these i've looked at i looked in all four of them it's all the same it just leads into uh, to freaking lava all right i've come to the conclusion that y'all are trolling oh my of course it's the last freaking one increased solar activity detected you don't say timber hearth projection stone I mean, I realize it says Timber Hearth Projection Stone, but I just don't recognize the area. Friends in the Timber Hearth Mine. Okay, Timber Hearth Mines. Let's have you already sent us survives the longest indirect heat. Can you send us more for the same for additional testing? We're attempting to improve its durability, and our forge has already burned through everything you sent. Or we'll deliver more ore to Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be fired up about crafting the Ash Twin Project's protective shell. I imagine we'll also have an updated estimate soon of how much ore is needed to seal off the Ash Twin project. It will be more than we initially thought. It will be significantly more. The smallest cracker opening will destroy everything. Okay, this, unfortunately, at the moment, doesn't feel like it helps me that much. There's still something in the Sunless City, which blows my mind. I guess it's the Sun Station, but I don't know how to get to the Sun Station. I mean, I guess I'll go dick around with the jellyfish some more. Is there a dead one somewhere? Can I push it? I still think the one frozen has to do with something. Is there like a specific moment when this dude goes in that they become not electrified? I don't know if I've like swim at the jellyfish a certain way. They, they look electrified all over their body. go up the middle that is wild I don't know how you would ever just come across that Slice this needs to be. Okay. Oh God. Ever. Oh. Okay. Ash Twin Projection Stone. Launch Module Projection Stone. It's like a whole thing we can turn on. I'm gonna wait on that. Again with this. I still don't know what this means. Exciting news. The Ash Twin Project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the Orbital Probe Cannon. Adding some finishing touches here and there, but should we finish soon? Are you and the Orbital Probe Cannon well? We are. The statue here in the probe tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. The probe tracking module. I'm now worried about this can's structural integrity and it screws moral integrity. Once the probe determines the location of the eye of the universe, I'll send, a, I'll send you an alert. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? 
fear not. Wait, I feel like I've, I've read this already. We only need to fire the probe once. You might, yeah, I've read this. I've read that one. That's weird. Yeah, so this is the broken... The broken one. Okay. So, I've read both. I've visioned both. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Okay. Oh, we drawn. Okay, this is like Eye of the Universe looking ass. What the hell? Oh. Oh, I need to probably do that for the first one. Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Number of pros launched 9.3 million. Deep Space Anomaly matching all known criteria for Eye of the Universe was found by probe 9.3 million. 1854. Now we gotta find that probe. Receiving data from probe. Uh, yep. Visualizing trajectory of probe. Okay. Net, 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 net. Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for Eye of the Universe. Oh, oh, this is the code. This is the code for the vessel. That's the code. Okay, I'm... Oh, you can literally go all the way up. Up in that thing. Okay. I don't know what has fewer brains. Me or that jellyfish. Okay, I didn't think you could literally just wear the MFs like a hat, bro. Okay. Okay. So it literally was just forehead it. I literally just had to forehead mode that. Okay, okay. We have a picture of the code. We input the code. We go to the eye of the universe or something. Okay. Let me take a look. I think I remember it, but I'm just gonna double check. We go here to here to here. And we go next. And then it's here. Here, 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 and then next. I assume order doesn't matter too much as long as you just draw the shape. And then it's here, 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 here. Let me dunk that in. Go. Don't tell me sun's exploding. That wasn't it? Was that not it? Do I have to move this thing now? Over here? Engage? Did I mess up the code? Pick up warp core. Pick up the warp core. It's, uh, it's, is that not in? Now do I, now do I bring this back? I mean, it looks like I punched it in right. 
And I put the warp core in. I thought I clutched up at the end. I was like, oh my god, I gotta plug in the warp core, bro. Plug it in. I did it so fast. Now we're gonna zoom. And then we didn't. The vessel's warp core is long dead. That has to be the most devastating line. <laughs> in this entire game so far. Oh my god. I don't even know. That was like the last thread that I feel like I had. I still don't know how to get up to Black Hole Forge legitimately, unless what I did was legitimate, which in, in feels in no way correct. Sunless City still has something. Good effing luck trying to find out what that is. I still haven't been to Sun Station. The Ash Twin Towers, there's still something here. Oh my god, dude. I don't know. I, li I literally feel like I'm I'm back to square one. I've been in Sunless City so many goddamn times. I'm tired of going back. And the fact that there's still something on in, in Statue Workshop is insane to me. I don't know. I I'll go back to Ash Twin. I, I don't know, dude. I'm gonna guess there's a whole lot of nothing while there's still a lot of ash on the planet. I don't know where else to go. I don't want to go back to the Sunless City, dude. I don't want to go back. But there's something in there that I still don't freaking know. Okay. Uh, the sand has gone away. Enough. We waited a couple minutes. And now we take a look. I don't even remember if I've seen this. I feel like I maybe have. I don't know. Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you and Idea progressing with the Sun Station plans? I think... I think I've read this. Nine meters above me. Yeah, another one of these freaking things. How do I get into this room? There's a door on this side. Let me guess, it's broken. Wow, I can't believe it. It's broken. Who would have seen that coming? Hold it, hold it, hold it right there, sonny. Okay, this looked familiar from the thing that I cheesed. This one's broken. James Brown playing Outer Wilds. Okay, why would they allow me to do this? It's like a little hidey hole. Okay, we're still uncovering more. Can we open this door? We can't. This feels familiar. Yeah, I've definitely been through here. Friends visiting from the Hanging City. We are planning the Ash Twin Project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin's equator. I became lost on Ember Twin, but the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Conoy would lose his own head if it weren't anatomically possible. Okay, I think we're still, we're still waiting for more sand to dissipate from here. So I think I'm gonna go check my notes. We have built a connection. Ash Twin Towers to Sun Station. They built something called the Sun Station. Not everyone supported its construction. I already knew that. So, therefore, Ligma Balls. Yeah, it leads us up. So there's still more stuff underneath. Still waiting for the sand. Oh, uh, well, I think I know what to do with this one. I think, no, I don't, Never mind. How the f, how are you supposed to get in there? Cause originally I thought like, oh, there's so much sand. You have to come in when there's still sand here. So that way you can uh, like swim over the effing things. But I mean, how, dude, what are you supposed to do about this? There's no way. Here, I mean, there's a little... There's a little... There's a freaking cactus in the way already. Okay. We are completely void of sand. This is just a shortcut that takes us to the top. So that doesn't really help us. 
I thought like some some of these underground cave situations would be something. Okay, so, so we just have to try coming here and then trying to navigate when when the sand is high and trying to get into uh, one of these freaking buildings here. The whole I still I still don't have a lock on the whole warping situation, dude. I don't have a lock on that at all. You go from one place to another. no. I know that. I know that. I just don't. I don't understand how to to properly use it to really accelerate my gameplay. Oh, I can't watch. I can't wait to watch a, a speed run of this game, dude. That's one of my favorite things about beating games, is uh, got, getting to watch a speed run of it afterwards. Yeah, I know I can use a campfire. I just don't know how long I have to wait. That's the problem. Because then if I go, I fly all the way to a campfire. I guess I could just do it like right at the. Oh my God! Start. I feel like I gotta do Sun Station first, and that'll lead me to Black Hole Forge. Which means I gotta go back to the Sunless City. I mean, unless there's like some fringe things to uncover. Like, I feel like I've uncovered like all of this. I feel like I've uncovered this. I have no idea what's going on here. This is just its own thing. This feels all pretty uncovered. Uh, no, sorry, Wednesday. But I didn't have... Did I already miss it? I already missed it. I already freaking missed it. We're dead. Okay, I definitely missed it now. Well, the door's broken. I can't even get in this freaking way. Oh. Okay. The thing. Okay. Surely we can get in. No, we can't. There's no way. There's no way you can get in there. There's no way you can get in there like that, dude. You know, I don't. I don't really know. God, this leads all the way around. F, F you. Just F you, okay? Just ligma balls. Okay, here's the thing. What does this even get me? I thought there was a thing in here. We have this. We have black hole. That's gonna send me to Narnia. What do I even get out of this? I thought there was stuff in here. What am I missing? How am I not seeing the one thing? If I look up as the sand is coming through. Wow, you can open doors from really far. I didn't know that. What am I, what am I missing? What was, what did I see in here initially that I now don't see? Another one of these. That one teleported me, I think. Just look up. I mean, all these are, all these planets are just like directly in line. Sun tower offline as of three seconds ago. All other towers online. <sighs> what did, what did I miss? What did I miss? Sun tower offline, all other towers online. Here's the thing. I'm gonna just stand here like an idiot, probably not finding the thing. Is the, did I, is the window gone? Did, is, I, did I completely miss it? The window's gone. Then I'm not gonna make us sit here for eight minutes while nothing happens. So let's go back. Unlock. I look up. What do we do? We're looking up. We look up. We look up. I'm not seeing anything else in here. We looking up. I don't see nothing. I'm guessing once the sun station goes offline, you missed it. That that's probably the cue. Okay, still barely understanding how the warp stuff works, but we take those. 281,000 years ago. No user commands received for 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep. 
Increase solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. Opens emergency door. Okay, well. Okay, okay. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know. I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know. Jesus Christ. I didn't know that was gonna happen. I didn't know. Okay, okay, just get back in there, get in there. Okay. Science compels us to explode the sun. Can we change this? I don't enjoy working in such a view of a morbid mission statement. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. You like a sense of humor. Okay, and we came in from that way. Ooh, okay. Stars reached end of natural life cycle, now approaching red giant stage. Evacuate sun station. Approximate time till sun station is destroyed by expanding star. Three minutes, five seconds. Three minutes, four seconds. I have three minutes. Again with this. Yeah, the three and the one and the two. What happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were infinitesimally small surface level changes, but they were barely visible even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next. I suppose we must start over, but I'm sure unsure how to start over. I can only offer my compassion. We're well, though disappointed. I may have disagreed with exploding the sun, but I never wished the device would fail. I'd hope our terrible work was finished. Return to Ash Twin first. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire notes the comet approaching the star system that we'd like to investigate. Ship log updated. How much time? Two minutes. I mean, it doesn't look like there's a whole hell of a lot else to uncover. Um, so I think we bail. No, it is. Yeah, it is. All right, fine. Oh, that one felt close. That one felt close. What, what did I actually grasp from that? Sun station. It was designed to make the sun go supernova. Had no effect on the sun. Took a break to investigate the newly arrived comet. Our sun has reached the end of its na uh, natural life cycle. I mean, I still need to figure out how to get to Black Hole Forge. I still don't know how to get there. That's like the last thing I have besides statue workshop, which I just don't want to go back to because I hate it. I just don't know how to get, I don't know how to get to Black Hole Forge. Warped objects appeared to arrive at the receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before they departed the White Hole Station. I don't understand why that is significant yet. I don't know. I'll, I'll go back to Hanging City, but I just, I, I don't feel like I have anything. How the hell do we get up there? Legitimately. <laughs> okay, I gotta go back down for oxygen. I I really don't know. There's no like quantum. Is there some quantum sh going on? I haven't seen any sort of quantum shenaniganery here. A bit of warp here from White Hole Station. Recreated warp technology. Suspended below the hanging city. I found a switch that raises and lowers the forge. It's the highest district in the hanging city. I don't even know like where I'm supposed to be looking to find the information that I need to figure out how to get up there. This tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used in the brief window when its tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. You must be standing on the warp platform during this alignment to get warped. 
you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Because I don't think we go anywhere else. Because we're going... This is Brittle Hollow. This is Brittle Hollow. But I know exactly where we're going. So that doesn't help me. And I don't know if you can warp anywhere else. Like, it's, it feels like it's just the one. Yeah, it's up here. So, like, the, the warp station, it only brings you up here. You can't warp anywhere else. It's just the one place. Like, I've, I've been here the whole time thinking, like, you could, you, you could go freaking anywhere, bro. I don't think you can. I think you just go to the one spot, at least on Whitehall Station, to use a tower. You must be standing on the warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. Corresponding astral body means the image of the planet that you see. You can warp here from Whitehall Station. This is where they first recreated warp technology. A uniquely shaped Nomai rune on the surface. There's also one in the Black Hole Forge area. But how do you warp to the Black Hole Forge area? I don't know. How do you get yourself to warp to a different frickin' plate? Do I still need more information from Statue Workshop? Mayhaps? I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck else is in here. But, like, I might as well go back. Ash t Twin Tower Designs. Each tower warps to a different planet. Sun is not a planet. Each tower was designed visually to reflect its warp destination. The towers allowed Nomai to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all other locations crucial to the Ash Twin Project. What's crucial to the Ash Twin Project? Effing Black Hole Forge probably is. Why do they let you... There's another room in here. Here's our first delivery. One warp core. Fresh on the Black Hole Forge. Drew isn't storing this call. The civilians are there. Ash Twin Project is finally underway. Curious about what you found in the White Hole Station that started this project. Could I visit sometime and learn more? I recommend you do White Hole Station as a model for the towers being built. Ash, so it'll be good. I'll have to visit with you. Happy to explain our findings. Go meet our White Hole Station. Okay, that was not as informative as I was hoping, but still a room that I didn't know existed. Where's Hanging City? Okay, we, we just missed it. I think we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait and see if we can teleport there from here. Well, the sun's in the way. Please tell me this is Black Hole Forge. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. <sighs> oh my god, dude. Okay, how do we not completely blow it? Exit to surface. No, don't want that. I know exactly where that goes. So it seems like I want to go that way. I don't think there's anything to do over here. So now I'm worried that when I go out, I'm gonna effing just eat Wang, and I'm just gonna fall that, okay. Oh my, okay, okay, okay. I'm not using any boost. I'm, I'm using no boost, bro. Mucho no boosto. Now here's something that's really gonna annoy me, is if there's no way to move the Black Hole Forge to me, and I have to go all the way back to move it to me, and then I can do stuff. But also, I dude, I don't know, what, what, what is there to actually do here? Where is there? What is there to do? Do I need the forge up here? I might need the forge up here. Like, what else am I supposed to do? There's nothing. There's nothing here. Now we are up here legitimately. Regarding the warp towers on Ash Twin. Look, I didn't I didn't want to do the whole thing again. 
Okay, I didn't want to go all the way down and then push the thing and then go back to the th planet and then teleport again. So I just I did that, but that's what I would have done. I'm just speeding it up. All right, uh, we did it. We I know how to do it now, so we're chilling. Regarding the warp towers on Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body to which it's tuned? I enjoy precision as much as the next, but if a tower's base were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer be in alignment. More important, uh, more accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai. Provided the next Nomai is not poke. We don't need the alignment angle to be exact. It only needs to be within five degrees of the astral body center. This gives us a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. Any Nomai stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time it's active to avoid accidental transportation. Where am I taking this first black hole core? And where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? All of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. My gratitude. In that case, Poke, Clary, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yaro your regards. Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin just to make sure Yaro receives it. Of course you are. The white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations, so those deliveries will be a greater pain in your cervical <laughs> spine. The tower designs in the high energy lab on Ember Twin reveal each receiver's location. Ask Yaro he's familiar with them. Of note, Yaro believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs, namely that one uh, of the warp towers on Ash Twin will never activate because its warp receiver will never align overhead. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body, you effing moron? That isn't an unreasonable belief, given the receiver does have to be located on or close in orbit around the relevant astral body. I seem to recall that was your understanding of warp technology at first. No, Yaro understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realize the hourglass twins are so close together that they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point between them. Here? I have good news. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Don't worry, Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary and her design work is beautifully clever. Ignore her, the core is finished. If my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. I'm intrigued. Everyone here working on the Ash Twin project is excited to see it. Meditate. Okay. That had to be a substantial amount on the chart. All of the warp towers were being constructed on Ash Twin while the six warp receivers being constructed at different locations. Angle alignment diagram. A diagram depicting the alignment angle between a warp tower and its corresponding astral body. Warp tower alignment angles are not exact. They only need to be within five degrees. This results in slightly longer warp windows that last roughly several seconds. Anyone stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. The center of Ash Twin. So I feel like we should we should snooze for a while because we want all the the sand to go away how far in am i i feel like i'm probably the most far i can be without beating the game surprised you don't know about the cannon thingy and the warp stuff dude the, the the gravity cannon with the with the ships and stuff no idea literally literally no idea how the the gravity cannons work at all i i didn't even touch them we want to go to the central chamber of Ash Twin. I don't think what I'm about to do is gonna work at all, but I mean, might as well try. Cause I, I, I'm teleporting myself to Ember Twin, if this works, which I don't think it will. Nope. Not Hanging City. Nope. Man, that really, uh, it really sucks you in. They were not kidding about the don't be nearby. <laughs> the hourglass twins are so close together, they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point between them. All of the warp towers were being constructed on Ash Twin. 
while the six warp receivers were being constructed at different locations. The central chamber inside Ashwin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. Okay, let's just let's just reset. What I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to warp, even though they they said that both are combined. There has to be a way to warp to to the central chamber. The question, obviously, is how. I want to take another look, do a little more analysis. More testing, more testing, more testing. I need to understand this technology. We have a black hole, black hole, and then we have another black hole over here. I don't, I'm, I'm just gonna keep looking up. This is taking us to nowhere. I guess that planet doesn't have a receiver. I'm just waiting for, for something. Yeah, the sent. Where did this send me? Where am I? Oh, on Ember Twin. Okay, they they it can send me to Ember Twin, but not the center. Just to Ember Twin. Okay, well, um, here's the thing: is that I'm not sure anymore. I am not sure how to get to the central. Genuine question: Do I need to know gravity cannon tech as part of the solution? No. Okay, because if I did. Or rather, I want to ask now because otherwise I would have spent 30 minutes learning about gravity cannons. The central chamber was physically sealed off. I don't think I've even seen, like, the protective shell of Ash Twin. Like, I, I haven't even seen where it is. Or maybe I haven't, I just haven't been paying attention. There are tower designs in the high-energy lab that reveal each warp receiver's location. Designs for each of the towers on Ash Twin's equator. So the, these these are the images in in here. So we I don't I don't need to go there because it's this. No, 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 hold up, hold up. I'm taking a picture of this. We go back to Ash Twin, but first I'm gonna pass some time. I've seen the different like glass windows that you look up into. Like some of them are broken, but that I don't know. That maybe doesn't necessarily mean you couldn't warp. That could just be bait. That's a moon. Me when I'm Joe Buck and Randy Moss has just committed a disgusting act. It's all busted up, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's broken. Although I guess, I, okay, I gotta wait like 10 minutes. I also feel like I haven't done anything with this tower in particular, or maybe I have, and I'm just not recognizing it. So this is a very, this is a skinny one. And this, this looks like the twins. So this is a uh, this is a twin. Yeah. Okay. So that's this one. This is kind of bridged together. Okay. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna stay here. I think I actually no. I already know where this goes. This one is broken. Does that mean it's like literally never going to work? We're gonna just stand here and we're gonna see. I can't really tell the direction of the sand. Oh, I'm getting. Oh, this is bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, uh, that's not good. Okay, well, I didn't even think of that. The bottom middle one. The problem is like... Okay, well, this is Black Hole Forge. So I don't want to go there. So that, so this is Black Hole Forge. So let me, can I, is there like some sort of an indicator? Like, cause it just shows like the tower and then the shape of the thing. Yeah, so this is, this, yeah, okay, so that looks like that tower, I guess, just very loosely. Okay, then we have the spiral one. Oh, there is one here. Okay, I was wrong. Okay, so that one, this one is, uh, is Giants Deep. Yeah, and I mean, it, it looks like a cyclone, okay? I know, I know it looks like a cyclone. But it's also the shape of the freaking tower. So it's not that one either. Okay, this one is. I want to say it looks like bottom left ish. No, this is. No, I just, okay, I just came from this one. 
I hate being trial and error guy, but like, how else am I gonna do this? Oh no, okay, this is timber hearth. That one, this one, this one feels like ember. The the one on the right feels like ember because it's got like the groove down the middle. But we kind of know, okay, but we, we've been there already. We know that one. But then how do I teleport to like myself? Like, what is this one? This should this should be ash. I'm gonna get sucked up by the sand again. Maybe you have to wait until the, the, the sucking of the sand is over. Maybe you have to wait. Maybe you have to wait for that. No, get me out. Get me out. Dude. Maybe you have to wait for that for that to be over. Okay. Now we go back here and we just effing wait and hopefully we don't get sucked up by the sand. That's probably what this little closet's for. Oh, that's right, sun station. So so this one has to do a thing. But like do you you stand here and then maybe so you don't get sucked in, and then as it activates, you stand here so you don't get like sucked up by the sand, but then like as you feel it start to go, you like bonk your head on the ceiling. I don't know, we gotta wait for another lap anyway. Maybe this is what they meant by like five degrees. You don't have to be like right in the middle. Okay, can I get stuck on the ceiling? Yes. I can. Receive data from previous cycles. Mass receiving data from probe tracking module. Giant deeps memory statue, timber hearth memory statue. Five minutes until end of cycle transmission. Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in the space we carved some of the Ashwin project powerful enough to send information back in time. How far have we come since our experiments at the high energy lab? I can still hardly believe it. We also finished relocating all the subterranean plants we met while digging. Okay. Poke just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant's Deep, where Cassava is working with Avens to craft. The, okay, the pro yeah, the probe cannon. It's not by accident the corridor warp tower was the last to be forged. The course could have been forged faster if Kasava had entered my work question. <laughs> Important part is no. We're all connected through Ash Twin now, and I'm no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. I have good news. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. No, it's not. Is everything well at the forge? No, okay, we've read this one. Timber Hearth. Giants. Yeah, I think we, we, okay, we've read some of these. We've read some of these. Dude, there's so many of these to read. Test the, uh, so they're doing well. It advocates for more launch power. If anyone can, perhaps uh, I check in with the over pro camera crew in interest of safety. I feel like I've read some of these. They finished the memory statues today. They're truly remarkable. When the Ashton Project receives, succeeds, the memory uh, before shut down. I'm impressed by the mental fortitude. Of those I feel like I've read these. I'm just going to keep going. Artificial gravity control. Probably don't want to turn that off. No. Okay. You're about to access the core while it's active. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. Oh, maybe we want to turn it off so I can float up there? What are we looking for in here? The sun station will see if the order of the fire of the sun probably will explode. Uh, using the energy from the supernova, it will send back fire back in time by 22 minutes exactly 22 minutes after these orders to receive the sun station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe back once in time each cycle created by the astronaut project will last precisely 22 minutes we can end the cycle at will sun station didn't work we gotta redesign it this is the closest we've ever been Theoretic theoretically sound only unable to power it and still create a supernova easier expressed than accomplished you can wait for the sun to explode in its natural timeline if you prefer, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. We're halting our research into creating a supernova for the moment. A comet. Okay. Comet. Okay. Alright. Turn that back on.
Now we go. Damn it. I thought I just stopped there. I'm low on fuel. Okay. Now I know what to do. Yoink. Okay. We have the war. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> loop back. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Imagine they just hide your your saved game in like a menu somewhere. You have you start over and they're just like JK. <laughs> All right, look, the ball stopped. The ball stopped moving. I don't know why it stopped moving. I thought I could, I thought it wasn't targetable anymore. There are eight monoliths with no my mask attached. Three of the masks are actively receiving data from the probe tracking module, Giant's Deep and Timber Hearth, respectively. The Astro Project was designed to use the energy from a supernova triggered by the sun station to send probe data from the orbital probe 22 minutes into the past. Theoretically sound, couldn't power it. There's an advanced warp core inside the protective casing at the center of the planet. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. We need to get the core, get out, and go to the vessel, and then put in the code in the vessel. I'm just thinking, like, just step by step. Exactly the sequence that we need to do. I don't think I've ever brought an item onto the ship, but uh, let, let me let me just say that when when people say like, oh, this is one of those games where I wish, you know, I could erase my brain and play it over again. I totally get that. Totally understand it. 100%. And this is a game that I'm definitely glad that I played. Yeah, like here it stopped and I tried to like re-control it again without tabbing off of it. And that's why I got confused. And I hit that e I hit that e wink. And now we have to go to Dark Bramble. Just outrun them. Not when they're literally right on top of me. When I get a little bit far away from them, then okay, we can gun it, but. Do I just fly out there? Can I fly out there? No, I can't go back. Can I change the power here to here? Does this send me back or does it send me to the thing? F it, we ball? Literally? 2.4x gravity. Let's turn on my flashlight, it's a little dark. We're good. I just like look away for a sec, the whole moon disappears. Um Okay, we're just walking straight down. I can't really boost anywhere. Oh, oh, it's getting dark. Oh god. Me and my flashlight. Nothing's wrong. <laughs> so 
This is a crater. Gravity's getting weaker. See, so F it, we ball. Wild's Avengers was founded by Feldspar, Gauss, and Slate, and Hornfels to explore solar system at the end of the universe. They know I never got to see it for themselves, but thanks to their efforts and technology, a Herthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. Observe. Unable to pinpoint location. I just wanted to try. This is a tree. Can I land on it? I'll just keep going. It just keeps going, dude. I can't see anything. Unidentified signal nearby. It's me. What's up, Esker? Do you hear music? No.
I feel like the building wasn't broken before. Maybe it was. Yeah, the building's breaking down. Okay. Over here. Right back. It's, um, it's not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for this next part. We'll need, you know, everyone. What the hell? Oh, Jesus Christ. That was toxic, bro. <laughs> that was toxic. Hey, why does it stop? What's going on? Cross old bark. Ancient Glade. It's always dark. Okay. Still need everybody. You found me. Nice to have coming around the campfire. Go on and get the others when you want them to miss out. I am... Confused? Okay, progress. Interesting. Sorry, I also realize I'm saying absolutely nothing right now, but I'm just kind of taking it in. I, I don't know, bro. Oh, you can zoom in. Feature that I've literally used once in a tutorial for 500, Alex. I've never used the zoom in. I used it once at the very beginning and that was it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Wow, they give him 16 bars? They're going to give him 20 bars? Oh, oh you got to talk to everybody. Okay. Conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. 
Is it time to find out? Hang on. I'm gonna get everyone playing. Jump in. Get him. Okay. Sorry for the flashbang. Do I have movement? Do I have control? I don't. She get flashbanged. Yeah, totally, uh, totally get why people say they want to wipe this from their brain and play it again. I totally get it, you know. Wait for credits, okay. Um, Dolan, Starstorm, thank you both for, uh, for priming. Thank you, thank you. Should have talked to everyone before jumping in. Sad dialogue. I didn't know there was more dialogue. I thought it was just like everyone plays the music and you hop in. No, I'm not starting the DLC right now. This, this stream went almost double the duration that I thought it was going to. I'm gonna go eat, watch a speed run before ending stream. It's like 10 minutes. Okay. Total to play time. My total playtime is skewed because twice now I left the game open after I finished streaming it and I left it overnight at l probably both times at least 15 hours. So I'm probably about, about 15 to 20, somewhere in there. Did I understand the story? Sort of. That's why I kind of want to read up on it. The Ash Twin Project Wall sums up this whole, the whole story. Yeah, like I have a a pretty good idea of of what's happening, but I definitely want to read up for some clarity. DLC adds a good bit. Use a bonus ending, you can come back. Okay. okay. Some long YouTube videos be possible. I definitely watched. So my goal with this, I think I'm like 18 or 19 parts deep. My goal with this is to make a, like a giant supercut. That's like four to six hours, however long it ends up being, and. Uh, and just dump it all on the channel at once. It's probably gonna take me a little bit because like it's so many parts and it's so much footage um, that I, I do want to chop it down. You just got a hilarious Easter egg in the high energy lab. Very, very worth watching. Okay. Favorite planet. I don't know, Brittle was very tough to navigate, but it's, pro it's, still, probably, it's still probably Brittle. Yeah, Brittle's kind of cool. Especially the first time that I did a, um, I did a black hole slingshot around the black hole. That was, that was pretty tight. Okay, we got something, something here.
cute. All right, good, good stuff. I'm, gl I'm glad I made time for that. I'm glad I made time for that. I also need to thank you guys. Um, I didn't really see like any big spoilers or anything like that. So I, I appreciate you guys not doing any sort of, uh, you know, no spoilers, no nothing. You guys were, you guys were good. So I, I really appreciate that. There was, there was not too many. There were some instances of, uh, I saw people like spamming some emotes and I'm like, all right, so I'm, I'm either on the wrong, I'm either on the very right path or the very wrong path, but yeah, not, not too much of that. So I, I thank you. Thank you guys for, for being very, very patient with me in this, you know, I was trying to, I was trying to keep things moving a little bit so that we wouldn't get too bored, but yeah, I will, I will be working on a, uh, on a super cut of all this. I can't tell you when, exactly when it's going to come out, but uh, it's going to be, you know, a project for, for me for the next couple of weeks. So um, probably sometime in March, I'll have this super cut ready.